Greetings, citations, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to <laughs> our midday live sale. This um, first day of September, Tuesday, 2022. Sorry, I am late as per usual, but um, I wanted to get a good selection for you guys, and it took me a little bit to get everything together. We had an emergency because I we ran out of dog food, and I totally forgot, so I had to go to the grocery store and pick some up, and. Uh, that kind of threw me out of my loop right here. But um, how is everyone doing today? It's good to see you guys here on, like, during this sun time. You know, when the sun is out. Uh, let me see who's in here. Hi, Pauline, Dorothy, Marion, uh, M.E. Abeta. How's it going? Malicia, Dorothy, Dodo Bird. Um, there's Dawn. There's Linda. Hi, guys. Tanya. How is everyone doing? Oh, that's good to hear, Boots. Good to hear everything's healing nicely. Hi, Jay Sweet. How's it going? Oh, yeah, Jay Sweet. I'm glad I'm here early, too, for everyone else that um, can't make it during the late night ones. I know they're so late. It's hard being on, like, the... On the um, west side or west coast and then a lot of you guys are on the east coast the time difference is killer hi norma okay oh there's tara there's candy hi candy steph hello oh steph sells stuff by the seashore how's it going oh brina hi Lally. hi 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 kathy uh, miss angie baby hello and sarah welcome Thank you again to Mich to Mama Sheila for the question. Actually, let me use yours instead that you popped up. That way. That one's super cute. Hold on. Let me take out this one. So this is today's giveaway question from Mama Sheila. What pets do you have? What are their names? Or if you don't have any, what kind of pet do you want? That is today's giveaway question. Let me get the... Oh, I'm not prepared. Let me get my link for the giveaway as well. And then... Hi, KS. How's it going? Hi, Marjorie. Okay, then you can just leave your answer right here in this YouTube video. Is this morning's YouTube video. Don't forget to give this um, live video a like, a thumbs up, and then the other one as well. Leave your answer and then at the end of tonight's or today's live sale, I'm going to be announcing the winner of today's giveaway. I have a brand new, this is like the Victoria's Secret pink belt bag. And inside you also get a little cup holder as well. And it also has like a lanyard thing so you can actually like wear it. So you can carry it on your shoulder too. So that's today's giveaway. Again, this is also complimentary from mom or compliments of mom. So thanks for providing today's giveaway, mom. It's just this really cute pink belt bag. Perfect for just like on the go, uh, park bag, dog walking. It's awesome. So that is today's giveaway. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I feel like it's so long already. And it actually is so good. Like now that it's so, so hot, I feel like it's actually kind of refreshing to be honest I've always been really scared of having like really short hair but I guess my head wasn't as lopsided as I thought it was hi Hannah how's work and sorry if I'm like sweating because it is so hot <laughs> it's like I have a little mister right here too so if I miss myself periodically it's just because it's a million degrees so oh you just got home nice <gasps> Tara, you have a bird too and a snake and a hamster and a fish? Okay, wait, I love birds. What kind of bird do you have? And what kind of snake do you have? Like, snakes scare me, but I find them super fascinating. And I used to have two hamsters growing up. Hi, Madame Goomba. Oh my gosh, I love your bearded dragons. They are so cute. And two panther chameleons, Goober and Sobe. Oh, such cute names. 
I'm also drinking a pink drink. I couldn't, like, help myself. I had to get one from Starbucks on the way home. I also got one for the kids to share. They are mine and the kids' favorite. So, okay. Um, well, that is today's giveaway question again. Thank you to Mama Sheila. Don't forget to leave your answer in the comments of that video that I have linked. And again, this is our giveaway. The brand new Victoria's Secret pink belt bag with the drink holder inside as well. So I have some pretty fun stuff. Um, I have even more stuff. I, I was like, this is never ending. <laughs> I have so much stuff. So I don't know how long the sale is going to go for, but I just like want to keep going until everything is kind of... Um, it's kind of gone, so I can have more space. Um, I have a good little assortment. I know some people wanted some Starbucks mugs, so I got some Starbucks mugs. I have way more, but I was only able to procure one tiny box because I kind of have everything jumbled in the garage right now. And then I also do have a couple home decor pieces as well. And of course, a ton of handbags and, um... Yes, so the sale is probably going to continue well into next week. Um, but I think, like, Saturday night, I'm still going to do, like, a regular sale of, like, regular items that um, from when I go shopping on Saturday. And I'll throw in some more sale stuff. And then, like, the following week, I'll have, like, sale stuff again throughout the week. I don't know if I'm going to do a sale every single day still. But I kind of like hanging out with that, with you guys. So if, as long as you guys aren't tired of me yet, um, I'll keep going. Uh, I'm like working my way through the garage to find all this stuff. I I found like more boxes of like um, bags and mugs, um, and there was like a good box of home decor stuff, but I could not get to it. I had to move too much stuff to get it. So that'll probably be sometime next week or tomorrow if I can reach it. Oh, boots! Yes, I did. Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't get a reply to it, but I did see it. We'll make sure that it's that right one. <laughs> Brina. I, uh, I really want... I, I just really need to make some more space. You've seen my pets, my... <gasps> Steph, no, I haven't. You sell on Whatnot, right? Is it Whatnot that you sell on? Oh, thank you, Edie. You guys have to give um, Steph Sell Stuff by the Seashore a follow, okay? She's also a fellow reseller. So give her a follow. Steph, can you leave your info? And so people can give you a follow? Horton. Oh my gosh, Horton hears a lot. <laughs> Chester, Augie, Blueberry, Brownie, Meanie, and the fish we have. Oh, the fish don't have names. Oh, Don, that's good to hear. Oh, and thank you, Jean. Daphne, Felix, Oliver, Olive, and Penny. Lily. Oh, We used to have um, a little parakeet, like one of those white and blue ones, and her name was Lily. We used to have a lot of birds, because my dad is obsessed with birds. So growing up, we had parakeets, we had cockatiels, and we used to have these two huge parrots. Um, one was just like a regular, like the red parrot. I don't know like the scientific name. And then the other one was a Catalina parrot and it was like blue and green. It was, they're beautiful. But, um, one of them got like a respiratory disease, which happens a lot to like the larger parrots. And so, um, sadly, well, the, their names were Lilo and Stitch. So like, Lilo was the red one and Stitch was the blue one. Um, Stitch sadly passed. And then Lilo got really sad because they were always together and started to like pull out her um, her feathers and stuff. So it was really, really sad. But my dad has or had has a friend that also has like parrots as well. So we rehomed um, Lilo and she's doing really, really well over there. So, uh, but yeah, we used to have like these two giant they were so cute we could feed them they just like weren't um like i couldn't take them out because they weren't um like that tame. well they were i don't know like when we bought them they said like oh like you probably can't take them out because they'll probably like um scratch you or whatever but we could always like we could feed them and pet them but i just couldn't take them out but they had like this 
in our old house, we had this giant cage. Like, it was huge. Like, we could probably all fit inside the cage. That's how big it was. And, like, they had to, like, bring it in this giant truck. And then they assembled it in the backyard. Like, we had to assemble it there already. It was almost like a giant aviary type thing. And it took up, like, half of the backyard. It was amazing. But, yeah. It's crazy. Hi, Diana. Oh, Diana, be safe. But thank you for being here. I'm sure I'll still be here when you're able to type again. Ebony, Ivory, Bentley, Willow, and Freedom. Oh, no. I'm so sad to hear that, but she's do she's in a better place. Zoe Bowie, a.k.a. Zoe Monster. Oh, Hannah. Suki and Kona. Oh, uh, I like those names, too. A Peekapoo. Oh, named Winter. I like that name. All right, well, let's get started. I'm just like, you know how I am in the morning. I, I'm like super chatty for some reason. I gave up on Starbucks for Mango Crazy Mangonadas. What's Mango Crazy's Mangonadas, Marion? That sounds delicious. I love anything mango. Is it kind of like those mango drinks? Like, um, like a mango lassie? I love mango lassies. They're so good. It's two Siamese cats. Smokey and Bubby. Oh, that happens, Tara. Yeah. Waffles and toffee. Oh, how cute. And a gold and, and a silver spoon golden doodle named ready oh that's so cute you guys have such cute names cantana brie <laughs> hi ellen okay let's uh <laughs> let me give you guys the link again actually because there's a couple more of you guys in here so that's the link for the giveaway question leave your answer in the comments and then the pink um Victoria's Secret belt bag is today's giveaway. Let me just get my little note sheet ready here. I still can't believe that it's already September. September 1st. Where does the time go, honestly? Today is also the half day for Zach and Elizo. And it's so crazy because they get home so early. Like, but I forgot that they start school so early. Like, they changed up the times that the boys go to school. Like, before, Kate used to go to school super early. But now school doesn't start for him until, like, 9 or something. And he doesn't get out till like, 3-something. And then Zach and Eliza start school at, like, 7-something. And then, so, like, on half days, they're literally out of school at, like, 11. I'm like, that's, like, before lunchtime. Like, it's crazy. Oh, Kirsten, you're allergic to cats. And my dad's allergic to cats, too. But we had a cat for a really long time and my dad was just like strong because he loves cats so much he was just like it's okay i love him oh tara i'm so sorry you hear that you're watching the equipment not until oh debbie yay we love a break okay well let's Oh, that's right, Boots. It's your birthday month. When's your birthday? September, babies. Oh, yeah. So you're, like, kind of getting, like, your body is kind of just, like, adapting. Do you take, medi uh, like, medication or anything for them? My dad's, like, literally allergic to, like, almost everything. So he's always on, like, some sort of allergy medicine. So, um, yeah. Hi, Cindy. Well, let me just get started then. Um, let me do... I don't even know what to start with. I think I'm going to start with this. It's like a really cool vase. Like, I don't know... 
um, like where it's from or like who made it, but it was just really cool. At least I think it's a vase. If anyone knows, is it like an ashtray? I honestly don't don't know. I have no clue. It doesn't have like any markings on it, but I would use this for plants. Like it would be really pretty to have like maybe um like a small maiden hair fern inside of here or even um oh string of hearts or string of pearls would be really pretty inside of this also but it's in this really pretty color it's like a pinky mauvey color and it's kind of a little bit iridescent so it has like some slight iridescence to it as well but it's really really pretty and i just thought like the shape was really cool so i got it but this is our first item Oh, Brina, you're on the 28th? Wait, hold on. I missed it. Tara. Tara's daughter's going to be 17 on the 14th. And it's Edie's too on the 20th. Oh my gosh, Boots. You guys share the same birthday. Boots and Edie. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And I still can't believe so many of you guys are like September babies. That's so fun. It's giving me, yes, Madame Goomba. It's really cool. I don't know. It's like, it, it kind of reminds me of like some like stuff from like maybe like the 70s, but I have no clue where it's from, who made it. It's not stamped or signed or anything, but I just thought it was really pretty. So... I picked it up. Um, so this will be... <laughs> Brina. This will be item number one. This is our pink... I'm just going to call it vase. The pink vase. And this one's um, going to be $15 if anyone's interested in it. That's item number one. Yeah, and again, I have no clue where it's from, who made it. But it's in pretty good condition. Um, just a little dusty. Just need to wipe it up. But it's really good shape, and I don't know, I just thought it was really pretty. It would be a like really cool, like, little pot for a plant, too. Or you could just leave it as is. I think it's really nice, just, like, decoratively. Or you can kind of use it as a catch-all. You can put your keys in here. Um, they'll fit. It's a good size. Okay, so that's item number one. Item number two, I did pull out some um, Starbucks mugs as per... Oh, also... Um, love good <laughs> boots. That is true. I have, okay, so I have these two mugs, and I'm not going to sell them, but if, like, anyone buys anything and then just wants them, and I'll just ship them along, just let me know, because these, they got, like, they're, like, cracked, but, like, you can just use them to, like, put your pens in or something. I didn't want to just throw them out or, like, have to donate them they're both anthropology so this one's like the letter j it's like a cream with like the gold freck like the gold speckles and then this is another anthropology one this one's really pretty and it has the letter r but they have like cracks in them um so i'm just like if anyone buys anything or has bought anything and wants these just like let me know and i'll just ship it along with whatever you guys like have bought um, just because I don't want to throw them out or donate them. I just, like, if one of you guys wants them, you can have it. You can just put pens inside of them. And they're still, like, I mean, like, we've been using them with the cracks in them, but they just get, like, you know, like, when you keep using them, they just, the cracks just keep getting bigger. Um, but if you could just use these for pens, that would be really cute. So if anyone wants them, just, like, let me know, and I'll ship them along with your stuff. So it's the letter J and then the letter R. Again, they're free. I just want to put that out there. Because <laughs> in case anyone wants to use them for, like, pens and stuff. Hi, Jessica. Welcome to the live sale. Okay. Um, and since we're on mugs, this one is really fun. I have a little, like, prescription mug. It's from um, Big Mouth. That's like the brand that it's from. It's really cute. It's in great shape. Just a little prescription container mug thing. So that's number two. 
And this one we're going to do for seven bucks. Um, Marion, okay, Marion, you can have the letter J, and looks like Boots also would like one. Boots, you can have the letter R. So, um, I saw Marion was a little, was called, like, called the letter J. So, you can have the R. We'll write that down, and we'll just ship that along with your items, okay? Thank you for taking those. Oh, Hannah called number two, yay! Where's my gavel? <laughs> Woo! Congrats! So cute. Okay. Let me put those over there. Oh my gosh, I'm like surrounded by ceramics. I don't want anything to break and fall. It definitely does, Hannah. All right, item number three. I'm going to go through all my mugs, too. Um, if I have any that are cracked or anything, I'll let you guys have those, like, also. Because, um, like, they're still usable. Like, we've literally still been using those mugs for, like, mm, like months. <laughs> but I was like, it's time to, like, switch them out. Because I don't want them to, like, break anymore. Because I'm literally still running them through the dishwasher still, and I know that's making it worse. Perfect, Hannah. Definitely will. My hubby's name... Oh, that's perfect, Boots! Okay. Um, number three... <laughs> Number three, let's do, um, okay, oh, this one's really, really cute. This is a vintage, um, Betsy Johnson, um, handbag. And it's in this, like, aqua blue color. It's in leather... And it has all these, like, silver studs and, like, the little ruffles. This one's vintage. There is some damage, though, to, like, the handles right there. Um, you could probably patch them up or definitely use them as is. Or you can put, like, um, like a fun twilly on the handles. But there is some wear and, like, kind of, like, some scratches throughout. Oh, Kathy! Nope, that's totally yours if you're interested. Congratulations! Yay, Kathy! That's such a cute mug. Hi, my mom is slang. Or not mug. I meant vase. Sorry, <laughs> the pink vase. That's this one, right? So, so cute. Okay, so congratulations to Kathy. Is Kathy? Is this your first purchase? No, right? Okay, no, I remember. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like it's <laughs> my brain. Anyway, so. There, yeah, so the leather does have wear to it. Um, also, the edge coating does have some damage to it as well. But I feel like the bag has so much life left. Vintage Betsy, John Betsy Johnson is so good. The interior is nice and clean. There's no, like, pen stains or marks or anything in the inside. And it just has one interior zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the other side. Oh, Diana, Hannah called that one first. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the blue Betsy Johnson shoulder bag studs and ruffles with silver hardware. And we're going to do this one for just $10 if anyone's interested. That's item number three. Again, the leather does have some damage to it along with the handles edge coating. But if you, it's, it has so much life left. It's still such a cute bag. And it's mostly like on the back that, you, like, ha that has like the wear like that. The front is in pretty good shape. There's just some uh, rubbing on the bottom corners. Hi, Miriam. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Okay, we're on item number four. Okay, so that's that one right there. Up next, hold on, 
Is this going to come off? Yeah. Okay. Up next, I have... This is a little Kate Spade wristlet. And this is in a dark brown leather. It has a little wristlet, which is removable. And... I like that it has like this pink part, like right like, where the zipper is. And the interior is a tan with pink polka dots. Um, it's pretty good inside. I don't see any major stains or darkening or anything. Um, it's just, there's a stain right here underneath the zipper on top of the little Kate Spade tag. But you but can barely even see it at all unless you like flip it up. So, um, but it's super cute. And I like the little hang tag here that says Kate Spade. This is definitely like a vintage um, piece. And so this is going to be item number five. The leather is in pretty good shape as well. There's like no major marks or rubbing on it. And it's like a smooth leather. Along with the hardware. The hardware is in pretty good shape too. Ooh, this is our... Brown leather Kate Spade wristlet with gold hardware. And Vadrian, how much is this one? Okay, we're gonna do this one for 15. It doesn't have any major signs of wear inside or out. It's in pretty good shape. Just a cute little pouch. A little wristlet. So that's item number four. And then five, I have... Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's do this guy. This one is a fossil um, double pouch, like, crossbody bag. And this one's uh, in a really nice, like, teal-colored leather. There is some wear to the leather, though. So this is, like, going to be, like, a fun fixer-upper. It has some wear on the corners, and there's color loss right there on the back. Oh, yeah, California. Thank you, Anna, <laughs> for letting you know. Yeah, Steph, I shipped from California. It has brass hardware. Um, there is staining on the inside, though. There's some marks inside of there, as you can see. Um, and that's on both. They're primarily at the top by where the zipper is. But it could possibly cl be cleaned further. But um, we're selling this one as is. Also, it does have a middle compartment right there, and that has a magnetic snap. So there's a zipper pocket there. There's card slots back there in that pocket. And then the middle... And then you can actually remove the crossbody strap as well. And the crossbody strap is adjustable. So you can do a lot of things with this guy. Um, you can definitely just leave it as is because the front doesn't have too much wear. That's even really noticeable. It's just a little bit of rubbing and color loss on the corners. It's the back that has like the predominant mark right there and a little bit towards the middle. Oh, that's awesome. I have a lot of relatives that live in San Diego. We love San Diego. So this is our teal fossil double pouch cross body bag with brass hardware. And this guy is going to be how much feed ring? Okay. Hey, Anne, this one we're going to do for $20. It's our teal fossil. Did I spell teal wrong? Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I'm sorry. I can't spell teal. I feel like I always spell it with two E's. I don't know why. I know how to spell teal. <laughs> uh, so sad. Hi, Anne. How are you? Are you feeling better? Are you ready for your trip? I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow. We're going to miss you, but I hope you have so much fun. All right, up next, we're on item number six. And I have this super cute gold coach wristlet. 
And this one looks like this. The leather is so glittery and pretty. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. There might be like a little bit of wear on the corners, but nothing like crazy or very noticeable. Um, the wristlet is in kind of like this Vachetta colored leather. You can also like change it so it just like stays right here as like a little wristlet. Or you can attach it to the zipper pull and then it kind of becomes like a little handbag, which is nice. And then the interior is just nice brown fabric. The interior is nice and clean. Um, it's in really great shape. It just doesn't have the little Ko Chang tag on it. Boots. Oh, and well, I'm glad to hear you're feeling a little better. Boots. Okay, so this one is number six. Gold coach wristlet. We're going to do this one for 20 as well. And this one is in really great shape. Like very minimal rubbing on the corners. You can't even really tell at all. But there's a little thing like right there. And just a little thing just like right there. Otherwise, it's in really great shape. Okay, up next. <clears throat> oh, Anne. I hope you feel better soon. I want you feeling good for your trip tomorrow. Okay, next is number seven. Alright, this one is an Amy Kestenberg. And this is like a little Amy Kestenberg phone bag. Right here, it's in a magenta pink leather. It has like a gunmetal colored hardware. The strap is removable, so you can remove that if you want. This is like a clear um, thing for your phone. And... The only thing is, I think there's like a little hole right here, yeah. There's like a little hole in the plastic right there. I think that's where they put the tag. And then there is, um, I don't know what this is. There's like a mark right there. And I don't know if that was from, hold on. I think it'll come off. I think it was like from the bag that I had next to it or like leaning on it or something. Okay, it's coming off. I think it's like edge coating from another bag or something. Oh yeah, it definitely was. Okay, hold on. Let me just clean it some more. It really does, Melissa. It's really fun, like magenta. Are you showing the Michael Kors black bag with a chain? Oh, Tracy, um, I do have that bag still. It's just not part of, um, the, like, the discount end of summer sale that I'm doing, but I can definitely show it. I'll just have to go get it really quickly. Okay. Okay, most of it came off. I'm kind of wary to clean it off some more because it might remove some of the color. So we're just going to leave it as is like this. So just know that there is that little... It's a lot smaller, right, that I got most of it off. But there is that little thing right there. Uh, it does zip across the top. And it has, like, these three built-in card slots inside of there. And I think my phone will fit inside of here. Hold on, let me see. This is pretty big. All 
All right, and that definitely fits inside of there, so super cute. And... <laughs> Brina! <laughs> Oh, Annie took it. <laughs> okay, so this is our magenta, uh, Amy, Keston. Yes, Boots, you will. I'm really excited for you to get it. Kestenberg phone bag with gunmetal hardware. Okay. And this one we're going to do for just $15, if anyone's interested. That is item number seven. It is, Karen. Just great for, like, your cell phone and then your essentials. Oh, Melissa is calling it. Melissa, you are fast. All right. Congratulations to Melissa. Okay, item number eight is up next. Okay, I know a lot of you guys are dog lovers. This is a um, a Jonathan Adler. He's it's like a little um, like a wiener dog bookends, and it's in a white ceramic. And yeah, it's super duper cute. I think it what they were supposed to be, or like they were glued on to like a base, but they it was like removed. So. Um, it's kind of just like, <laughs> as is, kind of like this. But it, I mean, he still does the trick. He still, still works well. Still super cute. And will look wonderful on one of your bookshelves or a console table. But, yeah. So this is this guy right here. It's a Jonathan Adler piece. Oh, thank you, Joe. <laughs> Ooh. Boots, that sounds delicious. A butterscotch ice cream. Ugh. So this is our white ceramic Jonathan Adler um, dog book ends. And I know, like, you, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, like, Jonathan Adler stuff. His stuff is really expensive. Um, and this guy is going to be $25 for the book ends. And that is item number eight. So cute. Here it is one more time. Yay! We love it. So fun. Okay. Let's set this guy over here. We keep accidentally knocking him over. Okay, number nine is up next. And let's do... Oh, yeah, I looked him up. He's supposed to be, like, on a little stand. Like, he has, like, little wood, like, stands underneath. It's either wood or, like, a white ceramic. But he was taken off of the little stands. Oh, Karen's calling it. Congratulations, Karen. Yay! It's so cute. Okay, number nine is up next. Oh, goodbye, little wiener dog. It's so cute. Okay, let's do a handbag. And let's do... Okay, let's do this guy. So this is a... And here's the crossbody strap inside. Um, this is a black Kate Spade crossbody bag. It's in black leather, like a black pebbled leather. It has a nice, large decorative bow here on the front. The crossbody strap is adjustable, but it's not removable. And the interior is in a like a black and white polka dot lining. Um, it does have some discoloration towards like the top by where the zipper is. Uh, but the interior is otherwise in good condition. There's, like, no pin marks or anything. It's just, like, that standard kind of, like, yellowing that'll happen up at the top by where the zippers are just from handling the bag. 
There's a zipper pocket there and then two open pockets on the other side. And the zipper works really nice. Um, I don't know, this bag was on the charm, or this little charm was on the bag already, so I guess I'll just, I'll, I'll just leave that on. But it's a little, I think it's like a coach phone charm. It has like a little coach, um, little tag on that, and it's just like a little crystal, um, thing right there. Some of the little crystals are missing on it, but, um, I'll just leave that on. But the bag is in otherwise really great condition. The exterior leather is in beautiful shape. It's just the interior has a little bit of that discoloration. Uh, Steph, go ahead and get a coffee. I I had a coffee this morning and I started sweating profusely because it was so hot. It's like, it was, how hot is it today? It's like 105 when I went to go um, outside to get the dog food. This is our black Kate Spade bow bag crossbody with gold hardware. With mini coach charm. <laughs> so I can't remember which one this is. Okay, and this one is gonna be thirty dollars. And that's number nine. Again, she's in really great shape. It just has a little bit of that the discoloration um, in the interior by where the zipper is. But look at that. It's just a great little crossbody bag. Oh, Pauline's calling it number nine. Congratulations, Pauline. Woohoo! Okay, up next, we're on item number 10. This is a great little bag. I love that. And let us do... I have another one of these um, little coach wristlets. This one is exactly the same as that metallic gold one. But this is the, like, the brown leather version. And this one has all the stamping on it. So this has like the coach embossed. And then it also does have the little coach, little charm right there. Um, hold on, it has a little smudgy smudge on one side. So I wanna just clean it off really quick. Now this leather, I might not use the leather cleaner um, on this because it might be like an untreated leather. And if it's untreated, you don't necessarily wanna use um, the foaming cleaner on it just in case. So I always go to be safe with the Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion because this is safe for like the untreated leathers for the most part. Like um, the Vachetta of Louis Vuitton, that's untreated and it patinas over time. And it's definitely safe to use on that. So if you're looking for something that's like you can use to clean and condition your Louis Vuitton Vachetta, you can use the Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion. And there's also another brand, I think it's called like Apple like the Apple um, leather lotion or Apple Care leather lotion. And you can also use that as well. And then when you initially add it, it does like kind of darken like that. But once it dries, it will lighten up. But it will also show you kind of like where all like the marks are on the bag. So you can see that there are like some scratches, but they're like pretty superficial. You can see the back ones have already dried because I put less lotion on there. But you can see that those like light marks right there, those are these marks that pop up. So it's kind of interesting to see like how um, the leather lotions work and like what they'll show you when you add it on. So you can see like most of the marks have already gone away. It dries up pretty quickly. But these are marks that were on there already. And these might be like grease stains or something like oil stains that um, get on the pouch. So those probably won't come out unless you re-dye it. Apple Guard. Thank you, Melissa. That's what it's called. Or Melissa. Okay. So just know that that's there. Um, you can definitely just leave this as is. It still looks pretty good. This would also be a good candidate if you want to dye it like a darker brown or black. So just know that there's marks right there. And there are a couple marks on the back as well. But you have the brown leather wristlet and the little hang tag right there. The interior 
um, is nice and clean. It's also in that same brown leather. I know it's really hard to see because it's dark, but it's in really good shape. I think it's just a little piece of paper down there. Oh yeah, just a little piece of paper. But the inside is nice and clean. So that is gonna be item number 10. This is our brown poach leather wristlet. And this one is gonna be just $15. That's gonna be item number 10. There she is. She's not in bad shape at all. Just a couple little little dots. They're, you know, beauty marks, if you will. And I also do like that cool contrasting stitching. Oh, Mama Miss Lang's calling it. Congrats, Mama Miss Lang. Item number 10 goes to you. Okay, number 11 is up next. Ooh, do you guys have any fun plans for the weekend? We were thinking of maybe doing like a Labor Day barbecue thing, but it is so hot. My mom was like, I don't want anyone at the house. <laughs> so she's like, uh, we'll just do something like next time. Because we usually have like some sort of like Labor Day barbecue thing. But I think we're just going to like hang out like on Monday and just like relax. Um, I'll probably be having some sort of sale that day. So if anyone wants to join, um, there'll be a Labor Day sale. <laughs> but yeah, since we're not having any sort of like barbecue or um, anything like that on Monday. It's just so hot. It's going to be so hot. We'll probably just let the kids go into the pool and watch from the air-conditioned interior of the house. Maybe I'll have the live over in the dining room or something. And you can hear the kids, the kids, the kids screaming outside. Cleaning the garage. Oh, Tracy. I have lived that. I, I'm currently still living the cleaning the garage life. So... Then, oh, are you serious? It's going to be raining all week, all weekend in Jersey? I don't know if that sounds really nice or, like, sad. Probably nice. Anything to get out of this heat right now. It's so hot. Oh, I forgot that I had this. I need to spray myself down. Ugh. Okay. Melissa, you're going to be working. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to be working, too. We're going to be doing our, our live sale. Still trying to clean out the garage. I'm, work, I'm working my way through. Ooh, Anne, but you're going to be in Hawaii. So, Hawaii sounds really nice. And they have many pools over there. Alright, number 11 is going to be up next. And I have um, this super cute Starbucks mug. It's in gray, and it has, like, the mermaid scales, fish scales. Then it has, like, the little gold dots on it. It's in really good condition. So this is going to be our little mermaid Starbucks mug. And Vadrian, how much is this? Alright, we're gonna do this guy for twenty no, let's just do it for fifteen. Let's do this one for fifteen dollars if anyone's interested in our little mermaid mug. Fifteen dollars for our little mermaid. So cute. I think I have like two more of these hiding somewhere too. Oh, Don's calling it. Number 11. Congrats, Don. Okay. Don, you're growing your, your Starbucks mug collection. I love it. Oh, Junie, I'm so sorry I didn't see you. Okay, hold on, Junie. I didn't even see your old message from before. Um, okay. 
I didn't see your, that old message. Okay, Junie, um, I see that you asked about, like, that one video. Um, I'll check on those later, because I think I have a couple of those items left, but I'm not 100% certain. Um, but the Kate Spade wristlet, that number four, that one is yours, the brown one. Congratulations. Congrats. That one goes to you. Let me just mark that one down. Sorry, I had my window closed and I didn't even see you there. But congrats, Junie. Oh, thank you, Ellen. I can hang out with you guys all day, too. I love it. Okay, up next, number 12. Uh, let's do... I'm going to try and go faster. Sorry, I'm just like... It's so slow sometimes. I can't with myself. Um, this is a Claire Vivier uh, little crossbody bag. This is actually one that I restored. So the silver is looking nice and shiny. Such a pretty bag. Um, has a crossbody strap as well. The crossbody strap isn't adjustable. And then it has like this little leather piece that you can belt down. But um, it actually just zips. Um, across. It is missing the little hang, like the little um, Claire Vivier charm, like the little ring on there. And it also is missing one of these gold studs right there on that side. Um, not too noticeable, but just know that that is missing. And this is the interior right here. It's unlined. This is actually a older version of this bag like from when Claire Vivier first started because when she first started she did unlined um, interiors and it just has the little Claire Vivier tag right inside of here and yeah so there's the bag it's super cute it's a nice little crossbody it will fit your phone I believe so yep my phone fits in there beautifully so your cell phone will fit I had the largest iPhone with my case and pop socket. Oh my gosh, it would be so fun to go thrifting with all of you guys. Agreed, Steph. Um, I think these studs are pretty easy to find though, that's why I just left it. Um, you, I think you could just get them from like, um, Michael's. I just haven't been to Michael's in a long time and I'm scared to go in because every time I go to Michael's I just wanna buy all the art supplies and then I never have any time to do any arts, so. But you can probably get another stud or just rip it off and you'll be fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, the stitching has come undone right here on this strap right there. If you're handy with a needle and thread, you can definitely just go through the old holes and re-sew it. But um, it's this uh, strap is still held really steadfast with this stud on there. And that stud's not going anywhere. So you can definitely just leave it as is. You can't even tell. This is what the other side looks like that's stitched on. So, still in great shape. Go live. <gasps> you know, I want to do that. Um, I just haven't done a live as a thrift. Maybe I'll try to do that this weekend. And I just don't know exactly what time it'll be. So just kind of be like ready in the middle of the day. And I'll try to go live sometime. Norma, um, I'm so sorry we forgot your invoice. We, we'll make sure to send it. Um, oh, Norma, are you talking about the Tiffany belt? I'm still looking for it because I haven't <laughs> found it yet. I know I have it somewhere. It's horrible. And I know it's like it should be somewhere in my room because I wouldn't have put it anywhere else. And I just cannot find it for the life of me. Uh, so this is the Silver Claire V crossbody bag and this one's as is so it has that missing stud and has the like a little unstitched part of the strap but it still is in such good condition and again I have fully restored the exterior and it's beautiful shiny silver as it once was so that is gonna be number 12 and we're gonna do this guy for just um, $25 I believe this bag retailed for almost 200 and this is number 12, our little Claire Vivier 
crossbody bag. So cute. Okay. Up next, we're on number... <gasps> you know... Oh, wait. Where did I put that ring? I remember I said I would look for that ring that I was gonna do... I lost the ring again. I like found it before. Why am I the worst? I literally found it too. Is it underneath here? I accidentally put this on top of it. No. Where did I put it? Gee whiz. I told Diana I was gonna find that ring that I wanted to show you guys. Um, and it looks like Hadrian lost it again. Okay, I'm crazy. I have no clue what it is. Uh, what happened? Um, my favorite one... You know right now, which my favorite one is probably the one in, I really like the one in Irvine, but you got to get kind of lucky and go like at it like all the time because Irvine, there's like a lot of like, first of all, there's lots of college students, but they're like college students that have really good stuff <laughs> and, and like the area is just a like a pretty good area and like the houses are really expensive. Um, so I recommend that place, like that crossroads in Irvine, but you have to go, I don't, I don't know exactly know what day to go because like you can really go any day, but I would probably go like when it's not busy because like on weekends it's super duper busy and like everything is already gone. So like definitely like during the week or something. Um, but probably like, on a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and yeah, Irvine. They get really good stuff. I feel like that crossroads in Orange County is probably the one that gets like the more higher end stuff. So you can find like more like Louis Vuitton, more Gucci, more Fendi, but it sells really quick. So you gotta go and just kind of get lucky. But if you can and you have the ability to, like just go as often as you can. And that's the only recommendation i guess i like that's like my like little tip um it's a i forgot the brand but it's i'm gonna have to show you guys it's not a tiffany ring but it's um it's like a really cool designer and it has like a really pretty like amethyst in it and it's like gold but i think it's like gold plated Oh, boots, yay! I'm sorry we sent it to the wrong address. Oh, Dodo Bird, go check it out. You're gonna have so much fun. Oh, you haven't? Boots, I thought my, is it, it might be an older package because Adrian says that we haven't shipped out those sunglasses yet. So that might be another uh, another one that he's going to be picking up over there. But we'll make sure when we do send out those Valentino sunglasses, they will go to the right address and not your P.O. box. Again, I apologize. Um, okay. Yeah, I think it was your previous order that's going to be that one. Um, it's not David Yerman. It's another... I think, they, I think they do sell it at some... Like at Nordstrom or like Bloomingdale's. But... I can't remember her name, but she makes really pretty rings. They look kind of like organic and it's huge. It's like, like the stone is like this big. It's really cool. Hi, Ate Eyes. How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. How are you doing? Oh my gosh. I haven't seen you in so long. I'm glad you're here on a, on a Thursday. Okay. Um... I will hopefully find that ring again. I don't know where I put it. I literally just found it. 
my room is like a mess again after I cleaned it because um, I've just been throwing all this stuff in here for the live sales and I keep moving stuff around to make room for other stuff and I have no clue where I put it. Okay, so number 12 is gonna be... Let's do... Okay, I was gonna do these um, Chloe sunglasses I wonder if we can get the lenses replaced, though. I'm going to have to look on that website. So I don't want to show you guys these sunglasses because um, I want to make sure that um, the website where you can buy lenses to replace them um, it does carry the lenses because the lenses are super duper scratched on it. But they're such cute sunglasses. I'll just show you guys these anyway. Like, this is how the sunglasses look. They are super duper cute. And I was going to sell these to you guys and then um, give you the link to the website where you can get the different lenses from. But I just want to make sure they carry the lenses for this because they don't carry every single brand, but they carry almost all of them. So I just want to make sure. It is kind of like a more standard size. Hmm? Oh my gosh, I, I'm so sorry I even told you guys about it and I don't even have it right now because I can't find it. I remember I put it somewhere. Hold on, maybe maybe I can find it. Um, Beidre, you know what ring I'm talking about, right? You need that purple amethyst one? You don't remember that purple amethyst ring? It's not there. Did I have it inside of something? Did I put it in pouch? I always do this to myself. Um, yeah, I'm gonna find it for the next sale. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't want to, like, waste time trying to find it. I thought I had it, like, in my little jewelry box thing, but I guess I didn't put it there. And I told myself I put it somewhere safe so I would remember, but I put it somewhere too safe because I don't remember where I put it anymore. It's not in these guys. Is it? Nope. Okay, well, I do have these that I forgot about. Let's do these guys. I have some Tiffany's I want to make. Oh, Florecita! Yes! Um, hold on. Vadrian, do you remember the website? I think I, like, we saved it somewhere, right? Let me put up the link to that website for the sunglass lenses. I think I have it on my phone. Um, let's see... I know I saved it in here. Well, I didn't save it, but I kept the window open. But I have a million windows open. <gasps> oh, you can do that? Oh! Oh my gosh, that's genius. Okay, it's called the sunglassfix.com. So this is the website. I'm going to type it right here. Sunglassfix.com Okay, so if you have like um, glasses, eyeglasses, sunglasses, and they're damaged, like the lenses, you can type in the model number for your glasses on that website, and you can buy just replacement lenses, and you can pick what color you want, or if you want them to be polarized, and it's pretty cool. So as long as they have it, you can order it. And I think the lenses start at around $30 or $40. And I think it's pretty good. So. Okay, Dan, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like a mess. Um, since we're on Claire Vivier, I also have this little Claire Vivier card case. And this is in navy. Um, I've actually, like, used this one for a while. Like, I've had this wallet for, like, years, but it's so cute. It's just, like, a little navy one. Oh, no, Diana! Why is it stuck in customs? Okay, and this is going to be item number 12. So this is our Claire Vivier Navy card case. And we're going to just do this one for $25. It's in pretty good condition. It's just been in used condition because I've used it for years. Um, so it has some of, like, the card indentations. But once you get your cards in here, it's going to look the same. Um, and the leather is, like, super soft, like, navy. Might be, like, a lambskin. 
But there's that, so that's item number 12. And number 13. Ooh, lucky number 13. We gotta do something good. Um... Should I do... All right, I'm gonna do this one. It's gonna be crazy. I have, this is that Hermes coin case. This is in the pink. It's super cute. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It has very minimal signs of wear. Maybe like some very slight rubbing on like one of the corners. But the hardware, like the little button is nice and shiny and doesn't have very many marks. Um, it's 12 or 13. Oh, did I miss something? I think I'm on number 13 now, right? The Claire Vivier card case was, um... Oh, did I do two 12s? Which was number, which was the other 12? Oh, that's right. Okay, um, that one will be 13. Thank you, Boots. Oh my gosh. How much was the crossbody again? That was number 12. Okay. Thank you, Boots, for letting me know. Oh my goodness. I'm on number 14. Okay, so that Claire V card case is going to be number 13. Okay, so that. Oh, and I put 113, of course. Okay, so that's 13, was the Claire V VA Navy card case. Now we're on 14. And this is going to be the Hermes coin pouch. <clears throat> And the inside is, like, in pretty good shape. I think the only thing is there's, like, a little mark right there. Otherwise, the interior is super-duper clean. It's kind of like a cool origami type thing. Someone opened a case on me. On oh, no, Katie. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you won. So that's awesome. Okay, MS coin. Let me see if I can. Okay, last time I showed this, it was. Okay, we did it at 240. Let's do. What's the best deal that I can do on this one? Hold on, you guys. I'm going to look up and see what the lowest I can do on this guy is. Yeah. Okay, 240, let's do, okay. This is probably the lowest I can do this one at. We're gonna do 185 for the Hermes coin pouch. And that'll be item number four, number 14. Since I missed lucky number 13, that was the Claire Vivier. <laughs> but yeah, 185 for the Hermes coin pouch. Again, it's in really good condition. And it's a really pretty pink color. And the stamping is nice and clean still on there. All right. Number 15 is up next. Yeah. I don't know, 10. Okay. Hi, Finding Solos at Home. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Krista. Okay, let's go to 15. I really need to keep my numbers, like, in check. I feel like they're all, like, all over the place. Okay, also, don't forget to enter the giveaway, you guys. There's more of you guys in here than there were before. I think there's, like, twice as many. So head over here. I'm going to leave the link in the live chat. Um, our question, again, thank you to Mama Sheila. What pets do you have and what are their names? If you don't have any, 
what would you want? So leave your answer in the comments of that video. And at the end of tonight's or today's sale, um, I'm going to be announcing our winner for this brand new Victoria pink uh, belt bag. And it also has a little um, cup holder or drink holder inside as well. So that is today's giveaway. A nice little belt bag. I know I did too, Finding Solace. I also missed it because I put... The I forgot that I already, uh, that I was actually on, or that I had something else that was supposed to be 13. I missed the number. But it's okay. Alright, up next, I have, this is a Pulicati, um, little, kind of like an Alma shape from Louis Vuitton, right? It's kind of like a domed satchel. It's in this white... Safiano leather. It does have some color transfer on the back. So this would be a good rehab bag, a good candidate to be repainted or re-dyed. The interior also does need a cleaning. But there's a zipper pocket in there and then two open pockets and it does have the crossbody strap inside of there as well. But this is going to be an as-is kind of like handbag rehab type of bag. The zipper works really nicely still. It has two zippers right there, and the handles are in good shape. But again, it does have that color transfer on the back. Um, the front isn't so bad, but it also does have a couple little marks on there as well. So this is our white, I can't, Pulicati. And this is item number 15. Pulicati. Domed satchel with silver hardware. And this one will do for um twenty or not to do fifteen dollars if anyone's interested in this one. Fifteen. Fifteen for number fifteen. And a white Pulicati dome satchel. Uh, Kristen, it does. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you the bottom. Oh, Steph, congratulations. 15 is yours. Congrats, Steph. Oh, I'm so sorry, at the eyes. Steph uh, called that one just a little bit faster, but congratulations to you. Steph, you got number 15. Congrats. Okay, up next, we're on number 16. Okay, 16 is gonna be... Okay, this is a Dooney and Burke. Um, this one is a collab with Parasol. So these are the ones that have like the rubber bottoms. And then it also has like a rubberized leather, which feels really cool. This is in a, like a baby blue, like powder blue, silver hardware. Um, has like the black rubber bottom. There's the back. Um, it does have some wear to it. It could use a good cleaning. Um, there is, yeah, there are like some marks just like right there. It has... Um, a little bit of, like, color loss on the handle right there. And it has, like, wear all over the straps as well. There's also, like, like some color loss along there. So this one like, needs a little TLC, but it's a beautiful bag. The interior has stains at the bottom. What, what's happening, Vitorine? And it has like some pen marks right there as well. There's one interior um, zipper pocket and there's also staining right here. This is like the little flap on top. You can see there's like that stain right there. And this is made in the USA. But it's still super duper cute. And then you can carry it on your shoulder like that. Yeah, it is a cute rain bag, right? Perfect for those rainy... New Jersey weekends, Diana. This is our um, powder. 
blue, Dooney, and Burke. <coughs> okay, and this one we're going to do for $20. And that's a number 16. $20 for our Dooney parasol rubberized shoulder bag. Super cute. Oh, Stephanie's calling it. Congrats, Stephanie. Woohoo! All right. Congratulations, Stephanie. I love the color of that bag. It's so fun. Those parasol bags usually like they're they um the resale for those are pretty high too. I think just like even if you wanted to resell it, just like a little bit of a cleanup on it, and then you can like quadruple your um investment on it if you were ever gonna resell. Up next, now this one it's a I don't think, I don't, like, it doesn't have a brand. It just says Genuine Snakeskin Made in India on it. But I thought this was, like, such a cool, like, wallet. I don't know. It has, like, um, it's, like, snakeskin. And the, like, the snake has, like, some sort of, like, pattern on it that kind of looks like a heart or, like, a smiley face on that one side. But it's just, like, a snakeskin wallet. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. It's nice and clean. There's the inside of that. Uh, but yeah. So, snakeskin wallet made in India. You definitely can't go wrong with Dooney. I feel like Dooney is always a good, a good one. Uh, and this one's going to be $20 for our snakeskin wallet. It's really fun. It's really pretty. <laughs> that smiley face, I don't know. I feel like it looks like a smiley face to me, at least. Or like a heart or something. Oh my gosh, Diana! You're so funny. Be safe, don't be... <laughs> Are you almost home? Oh wait, no, don't even answer. You're driving. Okay, up next, we're on item number 18. It's getting hotter and hotter in here. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret pink backpack in, like, this army green. Um, I believe this belonged to my mom. Like, she's had it for a while. I think, we're, like, we would used to, like, use it, like, when we go out and stuff. Um, but it's nice and clean. I don't think there's any, like stains or marks really on it at all. The corners are in good shape. And the straps are nice and in good condition as well. And there's just two interior pockets inside of there. And it just has like a drawstring kind of interior. I don't know, there's the lining. But this one, we're just going to do this for how much, Adrian? Oh, Linda's calling number 17. Congratulations, Linda. I'm sorry I didn't see you there for a second. But congrats. That wallet is beautiful. Okay, let's set this guy over there. Um, so this is the green... Uh, Victoria Secret Backpack. And we're going to do this one for just $10. That's going to be item number 18. It's in really good condition. And, yeah, just a great little fabric backpack. Folds up really nicely, too, like nice and compact. Oh, uh, Madame Goomba is calling it number 18. Congrats, Madame Goomba. Woohoo! All right. Hi, Veronica. I am well. How are you?
How are the kids? Are they back from school yet? Number 19 is up next. Okay. Uh, let's do... Okay, I like this one. Oh, this is a Badgley Mishka. Alright, this is a, Ma a Badgley Mishka Hobo shoulder bag, and it's in this really pretty green color. It's almost like a peacock green. It uh, has a nice gold buckle right on front. There is like some wear. There's some color loss, a slight bit of tarnishing on there. And then this opens up to a nice little pocket. The leather does have like slight like rubbing on the corners and edges of the bag. But nothing like super crazy. It has um, the little Badgley Mishka tag right there. It has a shoulder strap, which has some wear to it. You can see that there. And then it has a crossbody strap, which is in better condition. I think they, whoever previously owned this mostly used the shoulder strap right there. So you would carry it kind of like, kind of like this on your shoulder. And then the interior has a zippered closure. And there's the interior. I know it's hard to see, but there's a zipper pocket inside of there. And then two open pockets on the other side. There is a stain on the bottom though. Yeah, there's some staining right here in this corner, right there. But other than that, like the interior is in good shape. I feel like this actually could even be the glue from when they sewed the bag together because it looks too uniform to be like an actual stain. Like it's like rectangular, but I'm not 100% certain. But other than that though, like the bag is in like okay condition. The leather is still nice and soft and definitely has a lot of life left. So this guy is going to be number 19, our Badgley Mishka Green Leather Hobo Satchel with gold hardware. Oh, Fuji apples, that sounds yummy. Okay, and these, uh, this guy is gonna be, let's do just $10 on this one. That's gonna be number 19. Oopsies. $10 for our Badgley Mis Mishka shoulder bag. Little shoulder hobo. Sarah! It's okay, it's growing back. I feel like it's already getting long. It's perfect for this heat though. Like I feel like my haircut happened for me and not to me because it's keeping me a little bit cooler during these crazy heat waves. <laughs> what did you say, Vadrian? Vadrian doesn't like my short hair. <laughs> um, Boots, are you calling number 19? Congratulations. Okay. Oh, I have um another like home decor kind of thing. And I don't know if any of you guys are like Liadro collectors, but I have like this Liadro piece right here. It's the Liadro Collector Society like statue thing, I guess. I don't know. Um it needs like a little bit of a cleaning, but I didn't want to clean it because I don't know how to like, I don't, I don't want to like mess it up, but <laughs> I was like, is it going to like rub off like this little signature thing? Like I have no clue. Um, this is how the back looks. It does have like, I think that's like a crack. I don't, yeah. There's like a little crack right here that goes through the back. Is it showing? It, it starts right there. 
there and goes up. I don't know if it's showing up on camera that well, but it does have like a crack on the back. Um, but the front is in like good shape, just a little dirty. Um, and the back, that is like the part that has a little crack, but, um, this one will be 20. This is our Yadro. Is it Yadro or Liadro? My aunt and my mom always called it Liadro, but I have no clue because it's double L. So I feel like it'd be called Yadro, right? But I don't know. Um, we're selling this one for just $13. That's number 20, our Leodro little statue. Wait, did I put something crazy? <laughs> Yadro, okay, hold on. I, I don't know why t like that happened. Yadro statue, Leodro. I'm just gonna put Yadro, and that'll be $13. Yadro, right? Okay, Yadro, Yadro, Yadro. That's how you pronounce it, Yadro. Oh, Veronica, thank you. <laughs> I do miss my longer hair, though, but it's been a nice shopping. Oh, nice boots. They're all going to get lots of nice goodies. I'm really excited. That's so generous of you to shop for them, too. Okay, 21 is going to be up next. And this one, this is actually a vintage... Um, Kate Spade, and it actually goes with that pouch. Like, it's, like, from that same collection. Yadro. I think it's Yadro, too. Yadro. I don't know why my mom and my aunt always called it Lee Yadro. Like, my, um... My mom actually has, like, some Lee Yadro pieces. Like, she used to be, like, really into collecting it, like, back in the day. And now I honestly have no clue where it is. It's like in one of the storage boxes that I just moved from storage space to storage space. I'm like, where did mom's Leandro statues go? Like, I honestly have no clue where they are. Um, but this is the vintage Kate Spade shoulder bag. This is in brown leather. Um, this one does have a little bit of wear to it. Um, there's some rubbing towards the top. So there's like a slight lightening of the leather up at the top of the bag. It's not too noticeable, but it is definitely there. Um, the strap, the straps are long enough to carry on your shoulder, which is nice. It has gold hardware. Oh, Veronica, did she? Oh, is that from Ari? Thank you, Ariella, you're so sweet. <laughs> and there's, so there's the front and the back of the bag. And then the interior, it's kind of like an accordion style. So the back, it has a zipper. The middle compartment right there looks like um, there was a little pen explosion in the very corner right there. And it kind of bled through onto this side as well. So you can see the pen um, also over there. And the interior of this is like in a tan with black polka dots. And yes. That's it. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I see any other really major uh, things inside the bag to point out. And it does zip really nicely across the top. Oh, uh, maybe I'll we'll run into you guys again soon over at Veterans. I haven't been there for a hot minute again. I've only, I was only there last week. I haven't been in all this week again. Uh, Brown, Kate Spade vintage shoulder bag with gold hardware and this one we're gonna do for just $25 has a lot of life left it's in great shape for being a vintage style it also does have like the older like um, Kate Spade logo like embossed onto the hard or to like the hardware pieces right there as well okay so that's 21 and then 22. Oh, um, I forgot who it was that was asking for um, Patricia Nash um, yesterday. But I have this really cool Patricia Nash piece. This one is not, like, typical of what, like, the Patricia Nash usually does for her handbag. But I think it's beautiful. When I first thought, I thought it was a Brahmin, to be honest. And this is a beautiful 
um, Patricia Nash crossbody bag. It's in this black embossed crocodile leather. It has two side pockets. It has a pocket on the front right here, and then another on the back. They all have. They both have magnetic snaps, and then across the top, it uh, has a zipper. Hold on, it's a little stuck a duck. Ah. Okay. This little piece is inside, like the back piece, so it makes it a little harder, <laughs> like you go all the way. But yeah, the zipper does open and close really nicely. And here is the interior. There's a zipper pocket right there. And then two open pockets on the other side. The lining is in a microfiber, and it is in pretty good shape. I don't think I see any pen marks. Yeah, no pen marks or anything on the inside, nice and clean. And this will be item number, I'm gonna try. oh, I always have loved brown leather. The golden brown leather though is my favorite. I love anything in like that golden brown leather. Black croc embossed leather Patricia Nash crossbody bag with silver hardware. The crossbody strap on this too is adjustable. Um, one side is in the leather and the other side is in a fabric. So this isn't going to stretch out. It's going to stay nice and taut. And then that's how the end of that looks like. Um, and how much is this feed range? <laughs> Tracy. Okay, uh, we're going to do this one for just $35. It's in really good condition. Um, the interior is actually really clean. Number 22, 35, Patricia Nash. Oh, I do love silver hardware, too. Oh, Cindy! Congrats, Cindy! Number 22 goes to you. All right, Cindy. Well, that's right. That was you that, like, that wanted Patricia Nash, right? That one's such a good bag, too. When I found that bag, I discovered that she did like a whole collection in that croc emboss kind of leather. It's actually really pretty. Okay, up next, um, I have this Michael Kors. Now this one, it has a damaged handle. So the piping of the bag of the strap was damaged. So it's kind of like pointy right there, like it like kind of like broke, but that's the back handle. So it's not like super noticeable when you're carrying it. You can wear it crossbody, but this one is missing the crossbody strap. The D-rings are right there. Um, this is in kind of like almost like a cross between a grained leather and a soft piano. It's like a structured leather, but <clears throat> oh my gosh, I need water. My mouth is really parched. I'm looking for a tan tote. Oh, you, I keep forgetting to find that tan Patricia Nash tote. I think I do have one. Um, but it's like almost like a golden brown tan. And it's not like, remember, I had that other tan one. But that, that one sold the other day, I think. And it's in this like purpley color. The corners have rubbing. So you can see that it's a little discolored. The leather itself is like a little wrinkly. I think though, over time with use, the leather will kind of like even itself out more. The interior is in a soft piano leather in this tan color. Um, actually, it's a, I think it's a coated canvas on the interior. It's like a, that looks like a soft piano leather. Um, right here, the little taggy, the Michael Kors tag, it's kind of like coming up, it's lifting. Like the leather, like the, fabric has separated. Um, it's actually still nice and clean though, I think, And other than the very bottom. There's some discoloration at the very bottom of the bag, but the rest of the interior lining fabric is in good shape. Zipper, two open pockets, and then back here, interior does have some marks and some staining, but that'll be easier to clean because it's in the Safiano coated canvas. And, yeah, so this one, 
Ooh, boots! You're doing. You're gonna show us how what it is. I want to see what your dream bag design is. So this is twenty three, purple, Michael Kors satchel, damaged handle, missing crossbody strap, gold hardware. And we're gonna do this one for just fifteen dollars. It's honestly not in the worst shape, but it does have that damaged handle. It's missing the crossbody strap. It does have some like marks on the interior, and it has the um, the rubbing, but still like a pretty cute bag. Oh, Ate Ice is calling it. Congrats, Ate! Woohoo! Okay, put that guy over there. Up next, we're on number 24. And let's do... I have another... Wait, no, this isn't Kate's, but this is a Charles and Keith. So I have a Charles and Keith satchel. This one does have some damage to it. I think, like, it has... Like, these indentations. I don't think, like, this one... Like, I don't think all of them are going to come out. I think some of them might. But I feel like this one is not. Um, it does also have some, like, damage. And, you know, like, this is, like, a vegan leather. So there's, like, some damage right there to the leather. Where, like, the leather has, like, lifted. And then there's some discoloration or, like, color transfer. Um, this one would do well with either, like, a repaint... Like, in black, and, like, just cover up all the imperfections. Um, but, I mean, you can definitely still use this one as is. And it has the top handle right here. This is a turn lock that opens it up. Uh, it has the D-rings on the interior for a crossbody strap, but it is missing the strap. And then it does have damage right here. Looks like there was, like, a mark that someone tried to remove, and it kind of removed the leather, or the top coat of the leather. There also is damage right here to that interior portion. Uh, no, it's not leather. It's a vegan leather. And the lining, though, is in nice, clean condition. There's a zipper pocket right there. Um, oh, wait, no, there is, like, some sort of dark mark right there, if you can see that. Um, and there's a middle zipper dividing pocket. Looks like that. And, yeah. So just know, like, the bag definitely has, like, wear to it. Some of the top part of the vegan leather is, like, kind of damaged. So, yeah. Oh, Kirsten! We'll, um, I'll post it in a little bit. This is our light beige, uh, what is this called, um, Charles and Keith. Uh, satchel with silver hardware. Actually, Kirsten, do you have Instagram or um, YouTube? Just email me and then I'll send you the link for it. And I think that's it though, so. Um, and we're going to do this one for just, uh, let me do this one for $10. That's item number 24. Such a cute style though. It's a bummer that it's like kind of damaged, but cute. All right, up next, 25. Oh, I had, this is um, the same style of fossil bag that I had the other day, but this is the fabric one. And it is kind of like, in a, it's like a denim leopard print. Um, and then it has golden brown leather trim for like the top handles and stuff. 
Um, there's two front zipper pockets right there. And it does have like slight, like a slight mark right here, like discoloration. I don't know if you can get it out, but there is that mark right there. Um, that is the part though that folds over. So you can wear this as a crossbody bag. It has the D rings on the back. Uh, it is missing the strap though. So um, if you can, you can just attach like another strap onto it though, like a fun guitar strap. There's uh, three built-in card slots right into the back, and there's also another open pocket right above it. The interior of that is nice and clean. And then this portion of the bag opens up right here where the tote part is. There's a zipper pocket in there, and then two open pockets on the other side. And I don't think there are any pen marks or anything inside of there. Yeah, the interior is nice and clean on this side. No pen marks or anything like that of the, like the main tote portion and both of the front pockets are also in really good shape. So I think the only notable stain on this is that one right there. Um, and there, there is like slight discoloration on like the corners, but um, yeah, like a slight discoloration on the corners, but it's not as dark or like visible as that one right there. And the fabric though is in good shape. The fabric doesn't have any tears or any weak spots like that or rubbing on it. And yeah, okay, so. Oh, you know, there is a little discoloration right there along the zipper. The light discoloration just right there. Um, and on the other side as well. But it's a really cute bag, really great shape. That's 25, our fossil denim leopard satchel. I saying crossbody strap. And this guy is gonna be how much feed rain? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $30. Oh, Diana, yay, you're home. Any more Kipling mini backpack? Um, you know what? I'm going to have to see if I have any more. I don't think I do have any more Kipling mini backpacks. Um, I don't know if I have any Kipling left, I think, in general. I might have um, sold. I know. I'm going to have to check. I'll check, though. Um, but I, don't, I didn't pull any for today. All right, up next, um, 26. Okay, I have, this is a Anthropology vase. You guys know I collect these, I love these guys. So, we'll be twinning whoever um, <laughs> wants to get this one, but it's red with the flower. This collection is like highly collectible for some reason, and people really like them. Well, it's because they're really pretty and gorgeous, but this one is beautiful. Um, the flower is in good shape. I don't think I see any chipping really or anything. Oh wait, there is a little bit on the very bottom right there, but you can't see it like unless you, like, you look underneath. It's not visible um, up at the top, but the, the flowers are kind of like that on the corners. Like some of them have little like things like that, but again, you're only going to see it if you look underneath. Um, the rest of the vase is in really great shape and it's this really pretty like red orange and then it has the white flower the yellow um liz uh do i have a mark by mark oh that's right you asked for mark by mark yesterday huh um do i have any mark by mark that i pulled oh i do have some mark by mark right here i'll show that one next Okay, so this is the red um, anthropology anthropology flower vase, and this one is gonna be twenty five. If anyone's interested in it, that's gonna be number twenty six, and that's our red anthropology vase for twenty five dollars. Oh, Kathy, are you calling it? All right, congratulations, Kathy. This face is so pretty. Okay. 
Okay, let's put this one over there. I lost this one for a second, and then I was able to find it, like, randomly right before the live. I know I have more, but I can't, I, I have to find them. Oh, Diana, she hasn't gone through it yet. I'm sorry. All right, 27 is up next. And let's do... Oh, I have this little um, Starbucks mug. This one's in green. I think this is a newer style. I think it's like, I don't know, I think it might be from this year or just like at the end of last year. So it's like really, like this is like a fairly new one, I believe. Oh no, actually no, it isn't. This is the Bando collab. So this is the Bando Starbucks collab, Never mind. I think this one's like a little bit of like an older one. But it's really pretty. It's in this forest green with these gorgeous flowers. Um... Oh, it was Kathy um, that got that one. She popped up right before. Oh, wait, was it 25? Oh, just kidding. I'm sorry about that. I didn't even see the numbers. All right, congratulations to both of you. Yay, sorry. Congratulations, guys. I, like, cannot... <laughs> I've been doing this too long already. <laughs> Congratulations, Anita. So the denim fossils go into you. And then, Kathy, you got that red anthropology flower vase. Goodness gracious. If you ever find the turquoise vase... Oh, I just had that one, Kathy. It, I just sold it not too long ago. Um... 27, this is the Starbucks Bando green mug with flowers. And this one we're going to do for 15 as well. Um, hold on, I think I might... Hold on, I think I have... Hold on. Ah! I hope I can reach it. Okay, I am back, and I have vases. Hadrian has a problem and cannot stop buying vases. So, um, oh, Anita, you wanted the red vase. I'm sorry. But, um, Anita, I do have these two, so I'll put that fossil back. You didn't want the fossil one. So I'll put that one back, right? You, did, you, you, didn't, you weren't calling the fossil bag, right? But, I got these two. Anita, I think you have this one, right, Anita? You have this one? Anita, did you want this vase? Because I have, I think you said, you were looking for more vases, right? I have this one, and then someone else was looking for another one. Is this the turquoise one? Okay, you guys let me know. Um, I'm going to show the Mark Jacobs. This one is a Mark by Mark. Right here, it's in a taupe. Um, this one does have some discoloration, so we're gonna sell this one as is, but it's still in pretty good condition. The interior is nice and clean. It just has very minimal marks on the interior of this. It does zip all the way across the top. Um, this one doesn't have like a, any crossbody strap or anything, and I don't think it has a D ring or anything like that for the crossbody, but the shoulder strap is nice, so it'll sit right there. 
and then there's two pockets, pocket, and there's no back pocket. Okay, so this one is gonna be number 27. And this is the Tope Mark Jacobs. Um, Tope Mark Jacobs tote. And this one we're gonna do for $25. Again, this one is as is, it does have some color loss on the leather. So that's 27 for the Taupe Marc Jacobs. And then for the large blue anthropology vase, large blue anthropology vase. Oh, am I on the wrong colors again? Thank you, Dawn. I'll fix that. So that was number 28. Thank you. <laughs> Taupe Marc Jacobs tote, $25. Thank you, Don. Okay, so that one's 28. And then 20, oh, tw that was the Starbucks Bando mug, and that was 15. Okay, and then 29 is gonna be the large blue. <laughs> <laughs> you are so sorry. I'm just like, I'm, I'm out of it. Okay. Um, large blue anthro apology vase with red flower. That one's going to be 35 for number, so that's 29. So that's this one. So if anyone's interested in it, this one's the $35 um, large vase. And then the smaller one is this one. And this is gonna be the small number 29, small blue anthropology vase with red flower. And that one is gonna be 25 like the other one. All right, so 29, congratulations to Diana. That one is yours. Oh, did I do two 29s again? Gee whiz. 30. Sorry. I am a hot mess. Small blue anthro. And Anita wants the other one. Right, Anita? The smaller one? All right, Anita. That one's yours. Okay, I know which one. Sorry. I, I, I messed up on the numbers. But Anita, you get 29. You get the smaller vase. And then Dinah, you get the larger vase. And I know I have more of these somewhere in the garage so i'll let you guys know when i find them i know i did it again done i'm a hot mess 30 is the one that anita's getting so that anita's gonna get the small vase oh my gosh i cannot with myself right now uh, congrats anita because that one is yours okay sold to anita we're getting vase crazy and I'm sorry, um, that was Kathy, right? Kathy, I know I have more vases. Um, I will, I, I think I have another one of these. So when I find it, I will let you know. Um, just email me and I will just email you. And then the other one is yours when I find it. So. <laughs> and Pauline is calling number 28. Congratulations, Pauline. That one's the Mark Jacobs. That's this one. Okay. I am sorry. I'm getting crazy with the with the <laughs> with the faces. <laughs> okay, and then this one's Pauline's. All right. Okay, I think we got it. So Diana, you got this one, and then this one, Anita, and then Kathy, you got the red one. But Kathy, I I I'm pretty sure I have another one of these, and I have I think. I think I also have another one in a different color. So I will just, I will let you know. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. 
I have like so many anthropology pieces. They're just like all around. <laughs> Boots. <laughs> Boots is like, I'm here for the chaos because Hadrian can't remember numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think I need, like, a coffee soon again. I think it's the heat. I'm just, like, melting. Um, do you, do you think I should? Do you think, you guys, should I end right now? I know we're, like, on item number 30 already. We can end at, like, a nice round number. Um, do you guys want to keep going? I can come back later on tonight or we can end right now because we've been on for a while. I don't want you guys to be like here like forever with me. Um, I can come back um, later on today at around like seven or eight or something. Um, but I do have a bunch of other stuff still and I have even more stuff. There's just so much stuff. Oh, okay. Thank you, Pauline. <laughs> All right. No, you're good. Thank you, Pauline. Yeah, you're right. Did you need to go, Vadrian? We. Oh, you can go. I'll just do this. It's fine. Okay, Vadrian's gonna go. So. But I'll stay on with you guys a little bit longer, and then I will... Well, Vadrian's gonna stay in my ear, but... Um, Vadrian needs to go to, like, the post office. Um, let's just do a couple more. I'll go... I'll do, a, I'll do a couple more, and then I might do, like, a part two later tonight. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna keep going. Instead of having to come back on tonight, I'll just keep going now. So that tonight I can get ready for tomorrow. <laughs> and so that I can, um, I can get like stuff organized because my life is in disarray at the moment with all this stuff everywhere. You guys need to see, like, it's a mess. I feel horrible for my family. Like, everything is just like, I just have bins of stuff everywhere. And everyone's just like kind of going everywhere. It's like a, like a maze. So. We'll try and I'll try and stay organized. Okay, thirty one is gonna be up next. Yeah, I, I we'll stay on longer because I never gotta do these like super early on, like in the like an earlier time. And you guys are gonna keep me company while it's still hot because I'm gonna have to go outside and try to save my plants later on, and that's gonna take me a little while. All my plants are currently burning <laughs> because it's so hot outside. Um, how hot is it actually? It's probably like 110 degrees outside right now. It's crazy. Um, okay, it's not too bad. It's only 101 degrees outside, so it's not like 113 like it was yesterday at around this time. So, they're not going to be burning like yesterday. Okay, well, we'll keep going then. And since I have another vase right here that I found, um, I need to stop hoarding all these vases. Like, honestly, I have a problem. So I'm going to let go of some of my gorgeous vase babies because I have an embarrassing amount of vases inside of this house. But it's because we have an embarrassing amount of flowers <laughs> that we have growing outside. But this is a Marquee by Waterford vase. It's a crystal vase in this beautiful turquoise color, and it's the heart design. It's really pretty. Don't tell mom I'm selling this, because she's going to be like, that's my vase. And I'm going to be like, mom, we have a million. It's okay. Ugh, oh, Debbie, it's so hot. Oh, it's 102 over there. <gasps> yeah, it's so hot today, you guys. But it's beautiful. Um, it still has, like, the little um, like sticker, too, on the bottom. I tried to save it when I was washing it, but it's like a little messed up. But this sticker is still intact. So this is going to be number 31. Hi, Tita Rose! Turquoise. Crystal. 
Oh my gosh, Deborah, I forgot to order them. I went to go walk. I went to go walk the dogs. I went to um, buy dog food earlier. Tell me why I got a bug bite inside of Albertsons. Like, I got a bug bite on my arm. Do you see them? I have, like, these two little dots right there. Ugh. They're, like, literally everywhere. I'm just, like, covered in bug bites. I even got one on my elbow, and it's so itchy. Um, turquoise. This is the Marquee by Waterford? Yeah. Marquee by Waterford Crystal Vase. It's 100 in Reno. Ugh, it's so hot all over. <laughs> and this guy... Hey, Rob, how's it going? Okay, this guy we're going to do for $30 for the Marquee vase. This is Marquee by Waterford, and it's in this really pretty, like, turquoise color with the hearts, like the heart um, shapes. It's really, really pretty. Oh, Anita. Oh, Anita, you already got 30 You're good. You already got that one. Yeah, she called the the small anther one. Um, oh, Anita, were you calling this one though, or were you calling the because you already got the other vase? But if you want this one too, I you just put the different number. Did you want thirty one? Um, Diana, I'm just checking with Anita to make sure she didn't call, if she was calling this one, I'm going to give that one to her first, because I think she called it. I don't know if she just put the wrong number. But Anita, if you called this, if this is the vase you were talking about, this one's yours, otherwise it's going to go, okay. Anita, congratulations. Diana, don't worry, I have a bazillion vases, and most of them are, I think all of my vases are crystal. So, uh, if they're not anthropology, they're a crystal vase, and... I will pull more vases tomorrow. I just don't want to go grab them all right now because I'll probably drop them because my hands are sweating. <laughs> you know, it's disgusting. <laughs> but it's so hot. <laughs> and you know, we're supposed to be like trying to save electricity too. So the AC is like not currently on, but I still have all my lights on. Otherwise, it's going to be like really dark and weird in my room. So I'm like literally sweating with like my ring lights flanking me. A coffee and a vase. Ooh, would you guys like that? Because I know, like, I always feel bad because it's, like, I know, like, I'm, everyone knows me for the handbags. So if I do, like, just, like, a vase and mug, people are going to be like, oh, they're just vases and mugs. Even though, like, you know, you know, I love them. Okay. Up next. Gosh, now that I... Isn't it weird, like, when you touch the bug bite, and it just starts itching, and then it won't stop? I touched my elbow, and now it's, like, getting so itchy. But I think I will do that. Coffee and vases. Is it ridiculous that I have enough coffee and coffee mugs and vases to do a whole live sale? I probably have enough to do a couple live sales, to be honest. And if we're being even more honest, I probably have more mugs than I do handbags. No, not nah, I can't. I don't have that many mugs. Maybe almost the same amount. <laughs> Linda. Oh, do you guys like, would you guys, okay. I actually have some anthro plates I think I'm willing to part with because I got even more anthro plates recently and I need to make space for the new anthro plates. So... I have, like, some a good amount of anthro plates I think I'm going to be um, parting with. So I'll bring those out tomorrow. And if I don't, like, just remind me. And um, I'll bring them out. Because I do have some anthro plates that I want to get. Um. Anita, same. I love crystal vases so much. They just elevate everything. I don't know why. It's just, like, amazing. Okay. Um, let's do back to bags. Okay, I have, this is a Marc Jacobs collection bag. So these bags are, this one is like made in Italy. Um, I believe this bag retailed at around like $900 when it came out. Mom actually has this bag in both 
black and like a light pink color. This has gold hardware. It just has the shoulder strap. So this is just gonna sit on your shoulder like that. It doesn't have a crossbody strap, nor did it ever come with one. It has this lock detail right here. This one though does have some um, marks here on the back with this coloration. And there are also some marks right here on the corner. Right there, there's discoloration and then there's marks, like dark marks. And the same right there and right there. Right there. Okay, Kathy. I believe I, I believe I have all those letters too. Because my name starts with an H. John's is a J, my brother. And then my oldest nephew's name starts with a K. And I, for some reason, like, I was collecting all of those lettered mugs because <laughs> they're, like, our initials. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, literally all my mugs are, like, the same initials. And then K doesn't even use them. He doesn't even drink coffee. Um, but, yeah, so there's a front pocket right there, back pocket. Interior looks like this. There's some slight discoloration up at the top where the zipper is. Zipper pocket and then open pocket underneath. Um, the interior is in pretty good shape. I don't think I see any pen marks or anything. So other than the discoloration that's toward the top, um, that is it for there. But I feel like the bag does have a lot of life left. It's such a beautiful bag. And I believe this is a lambskin. So this is number... <laughs> Diana, you do. Linda, you know, I think I have some more of those. So, hold look, yeah. I think I have, a, like, at least two or three more. Um, so, this is our brown Marc Jacobs collection tote made in Italy um, with gold hardware. And this one, we're just going to do this one for um, $45 if anyone's interested. That is item number 32. And this is like a $900 bag, so $45. It does have the marks, but it has so much life left. Or you can re-dye this, and it'll look brand new. So you can re-dye it black. Or if you wanted to paint it a different color, you can definitely do that as well. Um, and that is item 32. Um, hold on one. I think I actually have a mug right here. What is this? Did this one have a crack in it? I don't remember. Um, I remember I bought one of these mugs before and it had a crack on it, but I don't think it was this one. I think I might have like, I might have re-donated it already at this point. I don't remember. But at one point I was like donating all of my crack mugs and I was like, wait a minute, I can give them to you guys if you guys want them to like use for your pens and stuff. Cause I literally like, I use, I have a Tiffany's, um, cracked crystal um, like mug and I use that as like my pen thing and I'm like totally fine with it so I feel like you don't need a or you can do like that I don't remember what it's called but there's like that Japanese repair thing and they put gold to fill in like the cracks or whatever and I think that's so pretty um but I don't believe this one has any cracks so I think this one's good Oh, how was the shoebox for Ever Jovi Girl? Was it good? You find anything good inside? Um, okay, so this is the other mug that I have. This is the Anthropology, the Rifle Paper Company collaboration. Um, this one has a giant letter B in gold and has these really pretty flowers. I'm kind of obsessed with this one. It's really, really pretty. Hi, Nicole. How's it going? Oh, I love hot chocolate. Okay, so that's this one. And this one still has, like, the paper sticker intact. Like, this is probably brand new. So, Kintsugi! Thank you, Hannah. Kintsugi. Okay, this is 33, right? That's the number. Okay, this is our red anthro floral mug with gold letter B.
Oh, that's awesome. Brand new Doc Martens. And then uh, let's do this one for... I'm just going to do this one for 10 bucks. if anyone wants this one. Um, this one is hand wash. Recommend I don't believe this is microwavable. And this is hand wash only. It has the gold on it. Usually the gold, um, you can't put it in the microwave because it'll like spark and change color. So, oh, Boots. Boots called that one. Congrats, Boots. You were able to, you, uh, you called that one right before Cindy. I'm sorry, Cindy. I do have more letter B's somewhere. That was, this is just the one that I had in my room. But congrats, Boots. This is perfect for you. All right, Boots, congratulations. Okay, and that one's such a pretty one, too, and it's brand new. <gasps> okay, I don't want my vases to fall over. I'm getting scared. I just want to make sure they're all safe, and I'm not going to knock anything over. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love that you guys love the like the mugs so much, because I am, like, obsessed. You guys already know with, like, mugs and, like, dinnerware. Um... Oh, Junie, I'm so sorry. Uh, Boots already got that one. Okay. Uh, 30... That was 33. Okay, 34. Oh, Cindy, you want the bag. I'm sorry. That was number 32. I'm, I, can't, I can't read numbers anymore. Thank you, guys. Cindy, I'm sorry. Congratulations, Cindy. This beautiful Marc Jacobs is yours. You're going to be a twinning with mom. Okay. I'm sorry, Cindy. I did not read the numbers correctly. I just have... It's not dyslexia when it's with numbers. That's only with letters. But whatever it is with numbers, that's what I have right now. I cannot, like... I feel like my vision is failing me from all the lighting in my room. Okay. Congratulations, Cindy. Again, I'm so sorry. I cannot see anymore. Oh, I love that. A little mini red rose. Okay, 34 is up next. I stopped collecting Starbucks country mugs. Oh my gosh, boots. I had, like, so many of them. And I kind of regret selling them because I kind of really love them. But... I remember, like, I sold, like, two giant sets of them, like, a while ago. Okay, 34 is up next, right? Oh, my gosh, it is up next. I Why did I already... See, I typed 33 again, and it's supposed to be 34. Okay, um... Let's do... Okay, this one is stuck to another bag. Okay. Um, the brand of this one is called Moni Moni, M-O-N-I. Moni Moni, Moni Moni. This is made in Italy. Um, I never knew this band until I found it at the store, but their bags um, are pretty expensive. This one is in this really, like, fun, like, kind of like ivory, like, light gray color. And it has, like, the little Mani Mani charm right here. That's the heart. It has antique brass hardware. It has, like, a fish scale kind of design on the handles. And then it has all this kind of, like, quilted detail across the top, the bottom, and the corners. There's two front zipper pockets right here. Um, the bag is in pretty, like, good condition considering it is a lighter bag. But it does have some marks. There's, like, a mark right there. And some, like, darkening on some of the edges and corners of the bag. And then the interior is also in the same color, but in fabric. And it does have a couple little pen marks. You can see there's, like, some blue pen marks in there. But it's not too bad. Um, there is also, see, like, uh, what I talk about with the glue. It has the, that's the glue yellowing that they use when they make the bag. So there is that in there. And there also is a zipper pocket right there. It does give city, city bag vibes. Um, yeah, 
Hannah, I think it is a vegetable dye. It feels like it. Like, you know, it had, like, the leather has a certain feel when they use vegetable dye. I feel like they definitely did. So this is our, I'm going to say it's like an ivory off-white taupe color. All right, Cindy, no worries. We'll take you off of that one. Okay, so 32 is still available if anyone's interested in that guy. And that's the Marc Jacobs. I'm back. And Moni Moni Satchel with Antique Brass Hardware. And this guy is going to be uh, $20 if anyone's interested in our Moni 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 bag. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, it is made in Italy and it's such a cute bag. I like the style of it. I love the handles. They're like so chunky too. And this will sit on your shoulder, which is nice. Okay. And up next, let's go to 35. Let me actually grab some more bags. Oh, actually, I have both two of these. Um, this one is a little furla. I probably should just fix this one. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one. Hold on, we're gonna wait for this one. I think I'm just gonna repaint it. Um, let's do this one. Okay, this is a really pretty, oh, I think Kate's home. I know, money, money, money. Must be funny in a rich man's world. That song, right? From ABBA. This is the Rebecca Minkoff clutch. And it's in this metallic silver Safiano. Um, it's in pretty decent condition. It does have like some, like some marks on it. You can see like there's a mark right there at a certain angle. Um, you can see it, right? Um, and then there is also, there are some marks on the back too, just right there, and then right there. There's a front zipper pocket, and then the top zipper pocket up here. The interior has six card slots, there's a zipper pocket, and then there's a open pocket over there. Oh, Billy Idol. <laughs> Not me singing the wrong song. Um, Linda, I'm, I might actually, I might have some in that shape as well. Um, oh, Zachary's here. Hello, Zachary Banks. That's number 35. This is our silver forever, Zachary. Silver, uh, Rebecca Minkoff Safiano Clutch. And this one we're going to do for 25 if anyone's interested does have a couple little marks on the exterior, but they're not, like, too noticeable because of, like, the metallic nature of the leather. And the inside is, like, nice and clean. Oh, Mel C is calling it. Congratulations, Mel C. Oh, you're Lord of the Gravel. There you go. Hey, everyone saying hi to you. Hi. Wait. Hey. We should applaud them. Hold on, Zachary. Let's type this I'm out. Gonna go You're going to get what? Oils. Oils? Oreos. Oreos. I thought he was going to get oils. I was like, oils? Zach's going to get a snack. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 37 is up next. Okay, let's do I think this, oh, this is the J. Crew tote. Okay, up next, I have a beautiful J. Crew leather tote. And it is in navy leather with a gold stripe down the middle, and that's on both sides. Um, there are some marks on there. Um, there's like a mark 
going across the gold on one side and also on the other side. The corners have a little bit of rubbing on them. Um, but the bag is still in really good condition. The handles are in great shape. It does also come with a little pouch right here. And the snap on the pouch works really well. You can also remove the pouch if you wanted. And the interior is unlined. It's just in suede. And it's clean in there. I don't see any pen marks or anything. So yeah, the bag is a great size. Has a lot of life left. Just a couple little marks so you can see on the gold parts. And then the little bit of rubbing on the corners. Oh, Malicia, don't. I'm going to want some of that now. Navy J. Crew tote with gold stripe and removable pouch. And we're going to do this one for just $15 if anyone's interested. That's item number 36 or 37. Oh my gosh, 37. And it's 15 bucks. Oh, Nicole Z is calling it. Congrats, Nicole. Um, the gravel, according to Zachary, is missing because he took it with him. So, congratulations on number 37. Oh. Wait, Nicole, you're calling just 37, right? You didn't call both? Just 37, right? Is it for, just for the Navy? Um, did I already miss the number? Did I skip 36? If I did, we're just going to leave it and I'm just going to skip it. We're just going to go to 38 next. It's okay. We're just going to leave that one at 37. <laughs> as long as it's not doubled. I don't know what's wrong with me. I thought I had the right numbers. Okay, congratulations. 38 is up next. And, okay, good. We, as long as it's not doubled. We're going to skip that one. We'll skip 37 and we'll just, or that, the number that we missed. And then we'll just go to, or 36 we skipped. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to try to keep track of this as well as I can. Our next item is going to be... Uh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is like kind of random, but like it's kind of cute. And this is by a brand called... Is it like We Demand Hot Tea? Oh, no, it's the... It's called the Terrorist Teapot. <laughs> like, I know, like, it sounds horrible, but this is the, the teapot. Uh, it's missing the top. And it's supposed to, like, have, like, um, a cozy, like, a tea cozy that looks like a mask. But, I don't know. I think it's, like, some sort of, like, design that, like, I don't know. It's, like, kind of everywhere. Like, there's other designers or brands that do the same design, too. But this is, like, the teapot. It's missing the top, and then it's missing the cozy. But I just thought this would be really funny. And then you can use this as a teapot, of course. Or you can put flowers in there, and then it'll have, like, a little sassy face on it. So... I just picked it up because I thought it was funny. Oh, thank you. I thought Zach brought it with him. Yay. Okay, it's back. Um, okay, so this one is number 38. I'm just going to the face teapot. And this one is going to be... Um, well, we're just going to do 10 bucks on this one. I'm actually going to do... Yeah. Uh, what's the lowest I can do on this? Let's just do eight bucks. <laughs> if anyone's interested in it, I was just going to use it decoratively with flowers or something. But I have too many of these sorts of things that I just want to put flowers in. So if anyone's interested in this teapot, it's really cute. It has a sassy face. She has eyebrows and eyelashes. <laughs> just a white ceramic teapot. Okay, then number 39 is up next. Oh my gosh, my bug bites are, like, getting really itchy for some reason. The one on my elbow is so itchy. Can you guys see it? Do you see that little dot? So itchy. Oh, 
Oh, Pauline, we're just skipping 36, just to make it easier. <laughs> so uh, there's just not going to be a number 36. We're just going to, uh, we're skipping that one because I skipped it by accident. Okay, um, let's do... Okay, I don't know if you guys remember this brand. Oh, 30, Dodo Bird, you're calling it? Number 38? Cool! Congratulations! Yay! I'm so excited. That teapot's so cool. Okay. Um, but this is a... Uh, it's Lamb by... Um, by Gwen Stefani, and this is one of her, like, giant, like, coated canvas totes, and it has, like, the lamb on it with, like, the crown. Uh, the only thing is, are, like, the handles are, like, cracking. Like, the straps are cracking, like, the leather. So, I mean, you can definitely still use it as is. Um, or you can cut off the straps, and you can buy replacement straps on Amazon, and just, like, attach them to the rings. So you can definitely do that as well. Um, but the straps are still in decent condition, and the they have interfacing in them, so the interface will kind of hold it together. But there is just cracking on the leather of the straps. Otherwise, though, the bag is in still pretty good condition. Um, the coat of canvas is in good shape. The print is in good shape. There's no, like, rubbing off of the print or anything. And then the interior uh, looks like this. It's, like, black and white fabric with the gold L's on it. There's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets underneath. And this just has a magnetic snap at the top. And it does also have these little snaps on the corners, too, of the bag to keep it kind of closed. Oh, for your Halloween party. Oh, that would be so cute, Dodo Bird. Okay, so this is our black lamb. But hi, Deborah. How's it going? Um, tote. And we're going to do this guy for $20. Again, it does have those damaged handles. But definitely still usable, or you can just replace them. Just, like, cut them off and then get those. Um, and I think the straps, like, the, the top handle straps you get from Amazon, they just have, um, like, the hardware that you can click on. And they'll just attach the hardware if you wanted to do that. But the toad itself is in pretty good condition still. All right. That's that guy, 39. Let's go to 40. Mmm. This is the Starbucks, like, Y2K um, coffee mug. And this is, like, the large size, too. And it just has, like, the date printed on there. Isn't it cool? But it's just like that. Like, it doesn't have anything else. But this... Wait, no, this isn't Starbucks. I'm lying. I thought I had a Starbucks one that was exactly like this. Ooh, never mind. It's also cracked right there. Does anyone want this? Let me know if anyone wants this. You can have it for free. If anyone wants this, just comment down below. I'm not going to make it a number or anything, but I didn't even notice that it was cracked. Um, the brand is... I think it's called At Home. But it's cracked, like, right there. Do you see it? I didn't even notice. But if anyone wants this, let me know. Let's actually do another mug. Oh, I have this Starbucks Pittsburgh mug. So these are one of those You Are Here mugs. This is the Pittsburgh one, the Starbucks Pittsburgh mug. We'll do that one as number 40. And this one. All right, Boots, that one's yours. We'll ship it along with all your stuff. Oh, yeah, you definitely could. That would be cute. 
Okay, congrats, Boots. You're gonna get that guy. We'll just throw it in with your other items. And the Pittsburgh mug. We're gonna do for 10 bucks if anyone wants it. This item number 40. Pittsburgh. I like the colorway. It's like yellow and gray. <clears throat> it's really cute. Oh, Don's calling it. Oh, you're welcome, Boots. I just don't want to like have to throw them away or anything. So I'm glad that you're going to be able to give it a new life. All right, Don, congratulations. That mug is yours, item number 40. Okay, 41. Is going to be let's do what they have in here. Oh, I have a Brighton crossbody bag. And I haven't picked up Brighton in a long time. This is like a bag that I've had for like a while. But it's just a little Brighton crossbody bag. It's in the black pebbled leather. Then has like the embossed brown croc leather. Um, it has like the little hardware right there. Crossbody strap. There's a back pocket. This is magnetic so that pops up. And then the interior just has one zipper pocket on the inside. And the interior lining is in pretty good condition. Um, nothing crazy. There might be, like, some slight discoloration just from, like, age of the lining. But otherwise, it's in good shape. Um, I also just noticed that you can do this on the hardware. So it can be silver or it can be gold. So whatever you're feeling like, you can change it up. Uh, there also is just, like, slight discoloration on the bottom corners. I think, though, with a little bit of leather conditioner... That'll um, darken back up. I think it's just dry. So that's number 41. Brighton, brown, croc, embossed, and black, pebbled, leather, um, Brighton, crossbody bag. Oh, I'm sorry, Cindy. Um, number 40 has already been called by Don. Okay, and this guy is going to be... We're going to do $15 for the Brighton. That's number 41. And let me leave you the link really quick for the giveaway. There's the link right there. If you guys haven't entered the giveaway yet, now is your time. Head over there. It's this morning's YouTube video. Our question is right here. Thank you again to Mama Sheila. Um, what are your pet's names? Or what kind of pets do you have and what are their names? And if you don't have a pet, what would it be? So leave your answer in the comments of that video. And then today's giveaway is this brand new uh, Victoria's Secret pink belt bag. And it also has a, um, a cup bag like inside to hold your drink. Oh, Cindy, it's your hometown? That's right. Oh, that's so nice of you, Dawn. Cindy, it's yours if you'd like it. We have uh, the best bunch here. All right, I'm gonna give that one. We're giving that one to you, Cindy. Thank you again to Don for being so kind. Okay, so next we have um, 42, I believe, right? All right, Don. Up next, up next, I have this is a silver um, coach crossbody bag, and it's missing the crossbody strap. It does have little D rings on the sides, so you can attach one on there. So you get like a, a silver chain strap, and then it has the little charm right there. The leather is in pretty good condition. There might be a little bit of rubbing on the corners, but 
it is still nice and shiny. The interior um, needs a little bit of a cleaning. It says it has some darkening inside, but that fabric is pretty easy to clean that Coach uses. Just like a baby wipe would probably clean that almost all up fairly quickly. And then it just has built-in card slots inside of there. So you can even just use this as a clutch. Like, I feel like this is such a cute little clutch, like, clutch bag. Silver coach crossbody bag. Missing strap. Again, you can just use it as a clutch, too, or like a pouch. Um, this one's going to be $20. That's going to be item number 42. There you go. Oh, thanks, Boots. Okay, so that's 42. 43 is up next. And I have... Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this one does have, like, some wear to it. This is a John Barbados, like, a large, kind of, like, travel bag in brown. It's in, like, a brown nylon and then canvas and then leather. So it has, like, three different types of fabric to it, I guess. Um, the straps, though, are, like, nice and sturdy, so this will sit on your shoulder really nicely. It doesn't have, like, a crossbody strap or anything like that, though, nor does it have, like, any D-rings to attach one. But this is a really nice bag. The only thing is it does have, like, a little tear right here on the side, which I think you'd be able to patch up. It doesn't go all the way through, so, um, there's just, like, that little hole right there. Um... And there is, like, some marks on the fabric. It might be able to be cleaned off, though, but we're selling this one as is. Um, the interior has a zipper pocket on the inside, and it just has, like, the brown lining, and that's it. And there is some discoloration at the bottom, like some lightning and all that goodness, but has a lot of life left. Oh, Diana, how are the puppies? Oh, their eyes are opening. That's so cute. So this is our large brown John Varvados tote bag in nylon, canvas, and leather. And we're going to do this one for just $10. It does have that hole in it, okay? That's item number 43. But $10 for our large tote bag. It's nice. It's, like, super usable still. It also has, like, a belted detail on the sides. How are your cookies? Good. Did you eat them all? You didn't bring me a cookie? I forgot to. They ran out. They ran, we ran out of the golden cookies. Oh, you ran out? Oh, that's okay. All right, bye. Yeah, bye. Oh, oh, we're doing a shake. Oh, okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Polly. This one's yours. Where's my gavel? I already lost it. Oh, there it is. Congrats, Pauline. Oh, I didn't show you guys the bottom, but the bottom is like that thick, like, it's like a coated canvas kind of material underneath, so. Oh, wait, you called 41. Sorry, it's, I thought you called the Barbados. <laughs> but 41, congratulations, Pauline, that one. I'm, like, not paying attention to the numbers. That's what happens when Vadrian isn't in my ear. I can't, like, keep track of the numbers anymore. Okay, Brighton. So that one is Pauline. Congratulations, Pauline. Okay, so this one, let's put over there. This one is the one that's over there. Okay, 44 is up next. Yes, please show them when their eyeballs are open. I really want to see them. Hi, Terry. We're just glad you're here right now, though, so thank you for joining us. Okay, up next. Um, do I have any... Oh, you guys, I have this guy. This is really cute. So this is a super cute Miss Albright, um, clutch bag. 
Um, this was sold at Anthropology. It has this like jeweled letter D. It's so fun. It has like sequins and jewels, and it's on like this linen that has like a gold sheen to it. It's like a like a linen fabric with a gold sheen. The back has like this. Um, I don't even know what this would be. It's, it feels like a boucle fabric almost, and it's like a pink and like an aquamarine, and it has this metallic gold uh, wristlet strap on there. And then the interior is in, it's like the same kind of fabric as the front, but it's in gray and it's also metallic. And then it just says Miss Albright right inside of there. And it's just like a super cute little pouch. It's in really good condition. Looks like new. So there's that. So this is um, letter D, Miss Albright anthropology pouch jeweled and this one we're just going to do this guy for ten dollars if anyone's interested uh in number 44 our miss albright super fun pouch sequins oh boots is calling it congratulations boots All right. Oh, Don, I'm sorry. Boots got that one right before you. Oh, your daughter, Denise. I spelled jeweled wrong, but you guys know what I mean. All right. 45 is up next. Do I have any other, like, little pouchy, wallety things inside of here. Okay, up next, I have... Okay, this is a little furla pouch. Is that a stain? Do I have an eraser? Oh, that came off. Yay. Sometimes the eraser comes in. Yeah. Okay, so 45 is... This is a, um, a furla. Like, little... Um, you can use this as, like, a wristlet, or you can attach it to your bag. But... It's in this, like, gray taupe leather, super smooth. It looks new. It's in a really good shape. Just has the gold frilla right there. And then, I don't know, it comes with, like, the tags and stuff on the interior. Um, yeah. And the inside is also in, like, leather as well. So it's just, like, a great little pouch. You can use it kind of, like, as a wallet if you wanted. Um... Or like a little bag. You can also attach it to your handbag as well. Or kind of carry it like this. So there's a lot of things you can do with this guy. And that's going to be item number 45. It's our gray taupe. Um, oh my gosh, I already forgot. Furla. Pouch with gold hardware. And this one will be $20. And this one's in like new condition. It's super clean inside and out, and that's 45. There we go. It's a really nice little leather pouch. Good for like if you like want to carry like your cash inside of it or something. So like a good little cash bag, or to put your sunglasses in here too. Would be really nice. These would like fit inside beautifully. And the leather is pretty like stiff as well. And it'll like protect whatever's inside. Oh, out to eyes is calling it. Congratulations, out to eyes. This one is going to you. I have B, D, and R, I just need S and P. <laughs> All right, congratulations at the eyes, number 45. Okay, 46 is up next. Thank you guys for taking all these things off of my hands. I'm like really excited about this, honestly. Like, the amount of space 
I'm hopefully going to have after all this is over is going to be very, very good. So I appreciate you guys so much. Up next, this is a little bit of a project bag, but you can definitely use it as is as well. But this is like an off-white coach shoulder bag. It does have the straps for the like the D-rings on either side. You can put a strap on it. It's missing the crossbody strap. Um, it is in like an off-white leather. Right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little piece of trim that goes around. And it's in like a patent like off white kind of like light pale yellow and then it has the silver studs so i mean you can definitely use it as is it's not in bad condition at all but there are some marks i think most of these like these big ones right there i think those will actually come off i think that's just like a little bit of like dirt that got on it so keep it as is you can dye it a different color um paint it a different color or um yeah, paint a fun design on it or something. It just has the coach embossed right there. Top handles. Again, the D-ring, so you can make it a crossbody if you wanted. And then the inside has this, like, really pretty, like, purple lining. There's a zipper pocket in the back and then two open pockets right there. And the interior is not in bad shape. There are a couple little marks at the bottom. And this, this can be turned um, inside out. Yeah, you can turn it inside out, so it'll be super easy to clean. But this one's going to be a little bit as-is bag. Great teamwork wins. <laughs> okay, so this is our off-white coach. Oh, and there also is some missing edge coating on one side of the strap. Um, actually, on what on the front strap, it's only on one side, and then the back strap, it's on both sides. It's a little bit of the edge coating missing. But it's in a dark brown. It just did a little bit of black or dark brown leather paint. And then you can touch it up pretty easily or just leave it. It is. It's always the way decluttering is going to be amazing. I'm already feeling lighter. Once I just get everything like packaged up and everything, it's going to be amazing. The only thing is packaging this is going to be intense because we sold a lot of stuff already. So Vajra and I are going to be very, very busy next week. I just need to like kind of separate everything and get everything like nice and right. So everything, yeah. We'll start shipping out next week. Um, but I think the sale, it definitely is going to go into next week still because I have so much stuff. So just let me know if you guys want me to hold anything. Otherwise, we're going to ship next week unless um, the items are on hold. You guys already know, like, if you pay up, to, like, um, when, you when you pay your invoice, Leave out $1, and then we'll know to hold your items for you. If you pay it completely, um, we'll know to ship it out. Um, make sure, though, to email me right now, because we have so many orders at the moment. Um, once you finish your payment and you want us to mail, just make sure to email me, and then we'll have them shipped out next week. And then if you want us to hold and you accidentally paid off your invoice, let me know as well. Just send me an email. Otherwise, we're going to start mailing next week. <sighs> okay, I hope that made sense. I'm sorry. I, know, I need a Marie Kondo. <laughs> I don't know. Everything sparks joy with me. So um, I'm going to just want to have to keep everything because I'm crazy. Silver studs. Fixer upper. And this one is going to be um, just $20. That is item number 46. But yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. But yeah, so we're going to start shipping next week. We might be a little bit slower than we normally are with shipping just because there's so much stuff. But um, just bear with us. <laughs> yeah, Diana, I think, they'll, I think I should get them done by next week. And then we'll mail everything all together. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to actually finish them by, like, Monday, so that way I can just ship everything already. But they're looking pretty good. I was actually just working on them right before the live started, too, as I, like, before I was gathering everything and before I had to go to the, to the grocery store to buy dog food. And they're looking really, really good. I just got to do a couple more coats on them. 
<laughs> and they should be ready to go out to you. Oh, yes, Ati Eyes, yes. We can ship them with your previous orders. Okay, 47 is up next. Do you guys just, okay, maybe we should just go to 50 today and then we'll end there. And then I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time, I, I'm going to, tomorrow's Friday. I'll try to be on like a, a like at 8 o'clock tomorrow, is that okay? Okay, um, boots. Okay, um, everything that Vaderine has right now, with the, like, none of the stuff this week will ship, but everything that Vaderine has up to right now, like, from la that you bought on Saturday, um, we can have that shipped out already. So, um, I'll have Vaderine ship out all that stuff that he has already. That's including, like, the Valentino sunglasses and all that. And, um, that'll go out tomorrow. Or can, do you think you'll be able to ship it out today? Okay. Yeah. Um, boots. We'll have those things shipped out tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, I know, Diana. For sure. I'm going to package the that vase within an inch of its life. Because I these... Anthropology vases are so delicate, like, I don't want it to break. Okay, I, I thank you. All right, 47. Um, I have, this is a slight fixer upper. This one isn't really, like, too bad at all. Um, actually, I can probably explain it right now. It just, it's like, see when you get these little marks? on like your bag and this is the black Safiano um leather so the leather is more rigid sometimes like when you rub against the wall you'll get like these marks on there from the paint like from the house paint that's when this comes in really handy and you kind of just like let it sit on the stains and it'll kind of just like soften it so they'll come off so I'm just going to let that sit for a second and then we'll wipe it off and see if it removes everything. But otherwise, nail polish remover or acetone will get that right out. Just like do it on a Q-tip really quickly, especially on a soft piano. Um, it'll be okay if you just do it really fast um, and it won't hurt the color. But black leather is always really easy to work with. That's why I love it so much. So I'm just going to let that sit and percolate and then we're going to go on to another item first. Which will be... Oh, I have... Um, this is a Claire Vivier. I have another Claire Vivier. I think this is my last one. This is a red suede Claire Vivier clutch. Uh, see, it has like a little schmutz right there. So let's see if we can... Got my little eraser and see if we can get that out. These little erasers are super duper handy. But sometimes you might need something like a little bit stronger like a suede brush to like kind of clean that off but we'll see if this gets it another thing that you can use too for suede is if you have like a nail filer um obviously you don't use one that's already been used like on your nails but you can use that to like kind of file down the suede and get rid of like a stain that might be just sitting on top Or you can even just use your nail to kind of get that out as well. But this one does have like some slight discoloration throughout. It's still there though. I think that one's going to be like a deeper one. Do I have my nail file somewhere here? But we're selling this one just as is. So it just has some marks. It has some discoloration at the corners. And then some on the bottom. You can see there's some darkening right there and a little bit down there as well. This is the fold over clutch. The interior is in chambray. They did write right there on the tag. 
That's how that side looks. And then that's how that side looks. I'll be at the Bruno Mars show by the way. Oh! And have so much fun! Oh, actually, I tried the totally. Oh my gosh, Diana! I talk about that one all the time. It's the yellow spray, right? I love that yellow spray. It's so good. It is a little bit stronger, though, so you just got to be careful with that one. And it's super duper cheap, yes. Okay, so this is the Red Suede Claire Vivier Fold Over Clutch. And this one's going to be. How much, Vidrine? Vidrine's still here again. Okay, we're going to do this one for um, $40. And that one's going to be number 47. I think I need to switch my headphone. Where's my headphone? Oh, it's in my bag. Okay. So see, this has kind of like been sitting on there for a little bit. Let's see if any of it has come off. Okay, so that took off the marks on there. So you, sometimes you just gotta let the cleaner do the heavy lifting, but it comes off like a dream. So that is nice and clean now. Um, the interior looks like this. It has like three compartments. The front one has two open pockets right there. And the middle zipper is just like that. It's nice and clean in the interior. And then the back needs to be like vacuumed out just a little bit. But there's that. There's a zipper pocket in there and then another open pocket underneath and it also does have a key fob. It is missing the crossbody strap on there though. But otherwise the bag is in pretty good shape and it's already starting to get back its shape. It kind of just had it kind of squished, but it's a really pretty bag. SMR. <laughs> I'll be cleaning purses. Yes, boots, you definitely will. Oh yeah, dilute it with water for sure. That um, that yellow spray is so good at cleaning stains like on carpets. Like if you ever get a stain on your carpet, it works really, really well. And it's good for like fabrics, hmm? Yeah, but the lining for fabric, like for bags, is pretty good for it too. You just gotta be sh like, um, like careful with it because it's a really strong cleaner. And be careful with the leather, because if you get it on, like, the leather, um, it can uh, damage it, too. So, if especially if you, like, let it sit, or if you scrub too hard, it'll remove the color. Okay, so this is 48 Black Safiano Leather Michael Kors Satchel with gold hardware. Missing long strap. Oh, yeah, animal stains. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this one we're going to do for $40. That's going to be 48 But it's in really good shape now. See, so yeah, I just need a little bit of a cleaning, and it like, looks really, really good. And missing the strap, but that's an easy one to fix. Oh, Brina! Brina, you're still here! I didn't see you for a hot second. Congrats, Brina. Woohoo! All right. Oh, and Brina, Vadrian said that we should have um, the wait for you for the box and everything by the end of today. We're just trying to get it, get it all fixed up and packaged up and all that goodness. 49, we got two more items. 49 is going to be... Let's do... Okay, so... This is a brand called Parazul, and it's a little crossbody bag. Um, we added like this little fabric piece onto there. The original scarf is missing, so um, but you can attach like any other scarf that you might have. I just like had this little piece 
that uh, I attached on there to kind of show how it'll look. Literally, I just like cut something. So it still has that little piece on there. <laughs> it's like not sewn or anything, but um, it's beautiful. It's in this really nice blue leather. It has a almost like a, uh, a Vachetta colored trim, but it's not like Vachetta, it's just the color. This one also has a little mark on it, so let me see if I can clean that off really quickly. I love the little charm on this guy too. It has like a little compass charm on it. Mm, the stain is a little bit more stubborn, so I don't know if that mark will necessarily come off. But I'm gonna let it sit for a second after I show you how it looks. Um, this is like the little charm, it looks like a compass, but it just has the letter P inside for Parazul. And just sewing and steaming and washing. Oh, Brina, you're multitasking, I love that. Oh, gem drops, I did! I'm about to end right now. I just have two more items. The inside is in this bright blue fabric. There's a two open pockets, two pen pockets, and then a zipper pocket on the other side. Um, the inside is nice and clean. I don't think I see any pen marks really. Oh, no, there are. A couple pen marks in the bottom corner. They're in red. It's kind of hard to see, but they're tucked in towards the corner. So unless you're looking in that corner, you're not really going to see it. Um, and it does zip across the top really nicely. Here's the back of the bag. Right there. And then the bottom. It really just has that one mark kind of right there. I'm just gonna let this sit for a second, the cleaner, and see if we can get it out more. Okay, and this one is our blue parazul crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this one we're gonna do for just 25. I think parazul is a pretty expensive brand. Um, I've never heard of it until I found the bag and looked it up. But that one's that. And then our last item of the day, I'm going to do this. Okay, yeah. Let's make it a good one. All right, last item. This is going to be item number 50. I'm letting that pot as well bag kind of percolate a little bit with a stain remover. But this is the Kurt Geiger, um fabric bag that I have. It's quilted. It has these like really pretty jeweled flowers. There's a little bird head right there, also jeweled. And here's the back. The crossbody strap is um, also a shoulder strap. You can just double it up. And there's no pockets on the exterior at all. And the interior looks like this. Nice and clean. This is in like new condition. There's no pockets on the interior, but this will fit your phone perfectly inside. And this guy is our last item, number 50, Kurt Geiger Rainbow Fabric um, Mini Flat Bag with jeweled flowers and gold hardware and this guy uh, I think we had this one at how much Vaderine like a hundred something like at 90 um we're gonna do this guy for $60 again it is like new condition that's gonna be number 50 $60 and let me just see if this stain came off okay it's a lot lighter but it's still there for the Bada Zool bag So that might be like a little bit of a color transfer kind of stain on there. Oh, Dodo Bird! I think Dodo Bird called that one. Congratulations, Dodo Bird. That one is yours. Yay! All right. And here's how this bag looks. It's a lot lighter, right? You can still kind of see it, but most of it has gone away. It is but a shadow of itself. It might even get lighter if we let it sit, if we let the cleaner sit even longer, but yes. All right, well, that was the last item of the day. Um, I'm going to try and do the invoices and ship them out and send them out to you guys after the live ends. 
because Vadrian is um, not home at the moment. But I know I can't believe we made it. About to drop my phone on my face. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to do the giveaway right now. So here is the link. Just one more time. If you haven't had a chance to enter the giveaway, I'll leave that right there for you. Um, there's 73 of you guys still in here. So thank you all for bearing with me this whole time. We've been on for um, a long time, right? Like almost three and a half hours. And again, the giveaway is for the pink Victoria's Secret belt bag. It is brand new. I'm um, glad you had fun, love. Oh, I'm happy you were able to make it to Ate Eyes. I've missed you. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm glad you were here too, Steph. Thank you so much. And again, I'm going to be here again tomorrow at 8. I'm going to have new stuff. I'm going to have more mugs. I'm going to have some plates. Of course, more handbags. I'm going to try to find... I have another bin of clothing that I know is somewhere. And I didn't even get to show you guys the shoes. I literally brought out a bin of shoes. I didn't show you any of them. So... That'll be tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have some more size 8s. Feel free to DM me. Let me know if you want uh, to see anything else specific, and I'll see if I have it. But um, we are going to do the giveaway right now. All right, you guys. Say hi to the vlog. You guys are now live in the vlog. I have our YouTube random comment picker up. And let me put in the link right there for the giveaway. All right. And we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, hold on. That one was just a regular comment. Oh, Stephanie. Stephanie P. Congratulations. I have one dog named Scarlett. She's 11-year-old rescue mutt and 12 chickens <gasps> to get fresh eggs. Stephanie, congratulations, Stephanie. I'm going to post you up right here. Um, I actually think you bought some items today, too. So I will be shipping this pouch to you or the belt bag to you along with your other item but congratulations stephanie p for winning and thank you everyone for being here today i appreciate you guys so so much again i will be back tomorrow at 8 p.m pacific time and i'll be back with all new items i'm trying not to double any items or show them twice during the um like the discount fire sale or whatever that we're having. So I'm going to have so many more items for you guys to take um, from me so I can clean out the garage so that my mom will be happy. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out. Um, I'll see you guys all uh, tomorrow. The invoices again should be sent out in a little bit. Um, yeah. And if you don't get your invoice for whatever reason, um, please email me. Um, but my email address is right there. If anyone has any questions or would like to purchase anything, send me an email and I'll see you guys all later. All right. Good night or good night. Good, good afternoon. Oh my gosh. It's not even nighttime. Good night at the eyes, boots, Don, Stephanie, Nicole. Again, congratulations, Don. Oh my gosh. I love that you get fresh eggs. I'm so jealous. Mom and I wish we could have chickens, but we can't have them in our neighborhood because the HOA doesn't allow it, but it's like our dream. Um, Nicole, love, Steph, again, thank you for being here, Steph. Uh, Terry, Anna, uh, Dawn. Oh, there's Jill. Hi, Jill. Thank you for joining us. Melissa, Tanya, Brina, Jag, um, Rob, Mama Miss Lang, Mama Sheila, Edie, um, Anna, Eclair, Laura, uh, Diana. Um, for, Diana, please send us pictures of your puppies. Uh, forever Jovi girl. And if I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry, but I love you guys all. I'll see you guys all later. All right. Also, oh, bye, Boots and Laura. Bye. 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 Adios. <laughs>